All right, I'm trying. <gasps> Is it working? We'll see. If it's working, we could tell Eric doesn't have to explode the computer yet. Um, we'll see if it's working. I don't know, guys. I feel like every live stream I ever do starts with me going, is it working? Producers, techies, and all this stuff, not with me, but they were afar, and um, they were handling all this. And today, it's me and Corey doing all the things. So we don't have a big team of people helping us. So wait, it's saying, wait, are we, I don't know, guys. Text. Good. Oh, good. Um, can you hear me and see me, all the things? The only problem, I'm worried about the audio because I'm using the audio for my computer, but I'm using a different camera. So my computer is now overheating and sounds like it's going to explode. So I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know why I said hello. What is Rachel's that? here? I don't know. It was a huzzah and like hello. And a holler. Holla. I don't know. Rachel's over there. Eric's over there. Corey's right here. I'm right here. And we are going to raise money for kids with cancer today. I am so excited. So yesterday we did a Christmas concert. It was the first year Corey had to fix his set deck. Um, we... <laughs> Yesterday we did a Christmas concert and we performed for you guys and it was so freaking fun. It was the first year we've ever done anything like that to also raise money for this. Um, so that was amazing and super duper fun. And today we are here on this live stream. We've been doing this, I think this is the fifth year. So um, we've been doing it for five years raising money and every year uh, you guys are incredible and blow me away with your donations. Um, so we will be giving away lots of prizes today for you guys. If you donate, we'll be picking people randomly on Funly. There's a link in this live stream. It's the only link below that you can click and donate. And we'll be checking those donations. And we'll also be checking on Twitter and seeing who's promoting the fundraiser in this live stream. Because I understand that a lot of people don't have money to just spend um it, you know it's been a hard year and twenty dollars ten dollars five dollars is a lot of money for some people so if you cannot we've already gotten to forty nine thousand dollars are you freaking kidding me you guys are incredible okay so i will tell you how much we raised yesterday uh soon but I'm waiting on the official final number because people were donating in tips um, as well as purchasing tickets. And there's like the there's like a couple fees that have to happen before it gets to me. So how this is gonna work is I will tell you how much we made yesterday um, as soon as I know, and we'll add it to the Fundly, but I'm not gonna put it into the Fundly account. Um, I'm gonna just donate it directly because when you put money into the Fundly, it takes like a few cents or something for every dollar or whatever. So I don't want any money to be taken if it doesn't have to be, if that makes sense. So if I donate the money I made yesterday into the Fundly and then donate it, then it'll take a little bit of just, you know, not a lot, just takes like a tiny, tiny percentage. And I'd rather them not take that percentage if I can help it. So I'll be donating all the money from Fundly once we get it and all the money um, that we made yesterday. But you get what I'm saying. So the prizes today, we have merch, um, all my merch, my last launch of merch, my new launch of merch. We have James Charles merch. We have Joy Graceffa merch. We have Angela Kinsey merch and the Office Ladies, their podcast. Um, we have Rosanna Pancino merch. We have Jojo Siwa stuff. We have um, gift certificates and Flynn drew a beautiful piece of artwork away. We have the iconic tutu that Eric wore yesterday at the live stream. <laughs> we have um, Zoom calls with me. Um, and you can be in the Zoom call just you and me, or you can be in the Zoom call with me and invite a few friends. Um, we have, I mean, so many different prizes. I'm also doing, I'm giving away an iPad and um, a what else am I giving away? AirPods, earpods, what are those things called? AirPods. I don't like those things. They're not used. It's all new, <laughs> but I don't like yeah. those. I don't even know what they're called. Imagine, like, like, imagine if I gave away my ear waxy earpods. I don't even know where mine are. I, I think Eric took them because I hated them so much. Um, anyway, 
Hello. So signed CD from Taylor Swift and a signed CD for Demi, Demi Lovato. Mm. And those were sent to us from you guys. Um, we know them, so it's like legit real. But thank you again for sending yes. those. That was really, really sweet. Yeah, people were sending stuff to donate. And then Family Reach, which is the company that um, one of the companies I'm donating some of the money to, goes out. If y'all. <laughs> The big ticket. What should we call her? What's her name? Let's say. She doesn't have a name. Is yet. it like a teeny beanie baby? Oh no, it's ages three and up. So if you're under the age of three, you could not win this one. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's ideal for nap time, road trips, airplane rides, and sleepovers. <laughs> um, but these are really cute, and we have a bunch of them too. Uh, family Reach sent these, and it was really sweet. So. We'll be giving away tons of stuff. I just want to jump into it. Usually I feel like I talk for a bajillion hours before I do it, but let's just jump into it. Um, we're going to pick someone, and the first prize we're going to give away, let's do the JoJo backpack. That's a good one. I haven't seen what's in it. I mostly want to give away this prize because I want to know what's inside that backpack. I haven't opened it yet. So I just kind of want to go through it for me. But um, just so you guys know, all of the money today that we raise is going to Kids with Cancer. I give uh, the money to a company called Family Reach, which helps out the families of the kids uh, with cancer pay their other bills. So we have um, you know, paid for people's mortgages and their car payments, their medical bills, their Everyone's electricity. Keeps it keeps freezing. Connection is poor when Colleen picks up her phone. Is your phone Wi-Fi? No. My phone's not on Wi-Fi. It's not on Wi-Fi? Everyone is just saying that's the whole thing is my pillow pet and it is freezing. Is it still frozen correctly? I mean, I could turn off this yeah, Wi-Fi. But, but then you need then it. I, you need it. I'll just have to work around it. I can, or I can turn off, I can't turn off this because this is what I'm streaming from. But you can do it on this one, Corey. Oh, um, How is it now? What? I don't know what you're saying. Yes. Is this, oh, you want me to add it? I don't know what you're saying. I just want you to use that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Colleen, if you're under the age of three, you can't have this three year old watching the live stream. It's sad. Hi, mom. My mom is here. Is it uh, genuinely, it's freezing really badly. He was like, darn it. Is it for realsies? You guys tweet me and let me know. Is everyone off their Wi-Fi? Yeah. Okay. I'm checking, I don't see anyone. If you are using Wi-Fi, please use cable, internet, or PC. Or, you wanna grab the, the, the Ethernet? Do you have the adapter? Do you know where the adapter is? Good question. It would either be on the stairs or in the box of stuff from yesterday. We're working on it, guys. Is sure. Is there a hashtag? Um, who wants something from Starbucks? Rachel's getting Starbucks. Send me your order. I'll only go as big as a grande. Don't get greedy. How about this? Send me your order. I'll that will be the first prize. Since we're talking about Starbucks, I don't want you guys to get jealous. I will get a twenty dollars Starbucks gift card and send it to one of you. So I'm gonna pick someone right now. It says it keeps glitching while we're waiting. Do you need a sausage egg sandwich? No, I already ate. I certainly will write everything down, I promise. Just while he's setting that up. Um, what? Uh, sorry, there's always... Uh, Tini said the freezing isn't bad. Um, thank you, Tini, for watching. I love you. Um, okay, this is great. I have a, a Starbucks gift card right now. Uh, I can't. Oh, sure. It's from Rachel Ballinger. It is from Rachel Ballinger. Rachel Ballinger is the one giving away the Starbucks gift card. She's purchasing it as we speak. Um, so this is really sweet. I have to screenshot this one because I want to tell you guys about that in a minute. Uh, sorry, guys. This is always the worst part is finding people to donate to because I like want to pick everyone. <laughs> What did you, how much did you say it was going to be for? Just 20 bucks. Because okay. we're talking about Starbucks. All right. So I feel bad. Okay, here we go. Vic X Colleen has been sharing the fundraiser. Here you go. <laughs> At, on Twitter. Yes. Write that down. 
She said, I want a caramel frap, please. So we'll send you Starbucks gift cards. You can get the caramel frap because I went on your page and saw you've been promoting the fundraiser. Again, today, you do not have to donate money in order to win a prize. Um, obviously, we'd love if you guys were donating money, but we also understand that not everyone can. So if you cannot donate money, that is fine. Um, we're finding people who are just sharing and spreading the word about the fundraiser. So, so um, we're going to DM you. Vic X Queen and ask you for that's another thing I want to clarify. We do have to DM or email all the people who are winners and ask for your address. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure when you respond, this is on Twitter. Um, make sure that you give us your full, your first and last name and your full address. And if you are under the age of 18, make sure you get permission from your parents and that they know that you are sending me your information and that they give you permission to do so. Um, because, come on, kiddos, we need to make sure your parents are aware of the things you are saying to people on the internet. Okay, so here we go. Is there a hashtag? They want a hashtag. Let's do a hashtag. Hashtag. Is, it, is it still messing up? What's going on? Um, sometimes they're saying it is, sometimes they're saying it's not. I think regardless, it'll be good to hook it up to another one. It's for the kids. It's all Eric's been saying only. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. Kids. Sorry, Corey's trying to find the um, Ethernet cable so that it can be stronger. Rich, you know where this would plug into in the Ethernet box in there? <laughs> the, you know where the other side of this thing is in the box? Uh, it's what I'd be into the modem, yeah? Guys, we're not techies over here. <laughs> if we can't find it, it's, it's working well enough. I, I Okay. Does that plug into your computer? No, we'd need the adapter for it, and we don't know where it is. We Yesterday, our house was full of cables and cords and a million things. And so, yeah, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll make it work. If it doesn't work, and if I'm too super glitchy, we'll figure something else out. But, right. Yeah, don't worry about it. It has to be like... I think it's fine. I, I think know what the hole would look like. It's a big gaping hole. Where are the I think it's fine. No one's saying it's glitching anymore. Teeny's still watching, hopefully. Teeny, is it still glitching? Or Anthony, someone who's watching and can text me. Um, because I don't want everyone running around frantically trying to find. Oh, Tia! Um, Tia, hi. Oh, I love you so much, Tia. Can I FaceTime you? Um, okay, Teeny says it's fine. Tia's watching. She's fine. Lisa's good. Okay, all my friends are texting me saying it's good. Maybe this is open. Maybe that'll help. Okay. Um, I think we have it. Tia said I can FaceTime her. I'll FaceTime you in a minute. I'm going to give away this JoJo prize first. Oh, I love you so much, Tia. Tia's amazing. I'll tell you all about her in a second. So well, first, we're going to give away this JoJo Seal backpack. I don't know what's inside. This is going to be so much fun. Thank you for looking, Corey. I think it's fine. Glitch. Everyone said it's fine. Yeah, so. Tia said she had, they had a glitch since uh, the first start. So yeah, inside this little pouch, we have a little tiny pouch. A little cute backpack, and now I'm sure I just since I just opened it, I won't be able to get it back inside. But I'm gonna try. So this goes in here. Ugh. Amazing. <laughs> just the fun. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 ho. we have. Oh my God, Gus. <laughs> Gus loves us. We have this amazing brush that sparkles and glitters in the night. We have a bow sleep mask, I think, or something. A sleep mask and like toe things. I think it's a headband. I can't tell what this stuff is, but it looks like it's for like a sleepover if you want to do a manicure or something. This is like a cute little stationary, cute set. We have, there's something big in here. <gasps> oh! A purse? Does this purse talk? It's JoJo. Check this out. Ah, copyright! <laughs> yes, I don't care. I love this song too much. We have manicure set. We have this bow, cute with daisies on it. This bow with the red. We have a uh, collectible figurine. This bag is full of stuff, y'all. 
We have a lip gloss, and I don't know what these things are, but they look pretty cool to me. So this thing is packed. If you're a Visco girl, look. If you're a Visco girl, there's a little container for Viscoing and being a Visco girl. Um, okay, let me shove all this back in here. And we have hand sanitizer. <laughs> Thank you. I have to hand sanitize constantly. My husband is very paranoid. But it's a JoJo Siwa hand sanitizer. So guess what? It's going in the bag. Um, okay. And there's also this little cute lunch box on the front. How cute. Okay. So that's everything in this. And that's the first prize other than the Starbucks thing that we're going to give away. So I'm going to head on over and see what y'all are saying. This is always such a really difficult time for me because I have to find someone and I hate this. Okay, here we go. We have, I'm gonna say your name wrong and I hate myself for it. Um, Sela, <laughs> S-E-L-A-H, I'm so sorry. Sweetener Dreamy. She said, my little sister just turned six a couple weeks ago and she loves JoJo. I would love to win the JoJo stuff for her. I donated $20 for the concert. So thank you for watching the concert. And that's her Twitter. So Corey will um, reach out to you and get your address. So we can give this to you for your little sister. Thank you for donating $20 to the concert and watching the concert yesterday. Um, that is so amazing. You're amazing. Um, I'm going to FaceTime my friend Tia. Tia is an amazing woman who I become friends with this year who has cancer and she's actually in the hospital right now because she's getting a uh... hi Hello. say hi to everyone Hello. this is hi, Tia how Taco yes Taco Bell I'm jealous <laughs> how are you feeling I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very lethargic. Try not to fall asleep every five seconds. Okay. But I'm you, feeling good. You went back to the hospital yesterday. Yes. And you started your chemo again yesterday. Yes, I started yesterday. Today is day two. And then tomorrow's day three. And then day four, I get my transplant. And I'm so nervous. Oh, my gosh. So Tia's getting a bone marrow transplant um, her, from her brother, actually. And yes. so this is, we've been waiting for this for so long. Waiting, 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 waiting. I'm so anxious. I'm so excited. I'm scared. I'm all the feelings. But we got this. You got this. You're amazing. We've been waiting for this for so long. We're friends. He doesn't think we're friends, you guys. He, his husband thinks we're not friends, even though we talk like almost every single day and are obsessed every with each other. Day. Why don't you think we're friends? You sound wonderful. Everything looks great. Thank you. Well, I love you, Tia. You're such an inspiration to me, and I think you're amazing. She has, for anyone who doesn't know who Tia is, she has five kids and an amazing husband who doesn't think we're friends. And <laughs> She, <laughs> she's battling cancer. This year, she's also <laughs> battled COVID and beat it with no immune system because she's a rock star superwoman. Um, she's so amazing. And now she's going through a bone marrow transplant. She'll be in the hospital for six weeks um, with yeah. that and going through chemo again. Got you got it. It's going to be amazing. You're going to be amazing. And oh, your, yeah. your new hair looks amazing, too. She cut it really like short. That? I love it. I think it looks so pretty. Cause she cut it really short. She had, you were bald and then it grew and then you got a cute haircut and you like bleached it and it was so cute and you dyed it. And then you shaved it again. And then I figured, I'm like, I was gonna lose it again anyway. So I'm like, I might as well just shave it. So. It looks so good on you. I love it. Thank you. I like it. Well, and thank you for inspiring my Taco Bell problem lately. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's probably not a good thing, but it's so freaking tasty. It's so freaking good. It's the only thing I want to eat. So it's so amazing. You. Well, I love you so much, and I miss you. And I'll talk to you after this, and um, have uh, have as much fun as you can in the hospital, and okay. just keep living your happy goodness life and spreading all the good vibes. I love you. I love you more, and I will talk to you soon. Love You're amazing. You, Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. <laughs>
So that's Tia. She's amazing. And um, she has leukemia. I found her on TikTok and she um, has cancer and she's just always like positive and really open and real. And um, she does live streams every night. So you guys can subscribe to her. Um, but I've been following her journey and she's amazing. Um, and I wanted to give you guys, before we go on to the next one, I'm gonna give you a couple statistics about childhood cancer and why this is so important. Then I need to start giving away prizes like crazy because we have a lot. So every two minutes, a child is diagnosed with cancer. That is 300,000 kids around the world every single year that are diagnosed with cancer. 46% uh, of cancer patients cut back on basics like food and clothing to pay for their cancer care. Uh, with some skipping medication to save money. So it's expensive here in America um, to have medical bills. So a lot of times parents often have to quit their jobs or lose their jobs just to keep up with the medical bills, um, but also because their kid's always in the hospital. So they're constantly needing to be in the hospital with their kid and they can't have a job hold a job and be doing that. So uh, they don't they don't have a job to pay for these things. And Family Reach is the company that helps pay for all those bills. Um, so childhood cancer only receives 4% of the annual budget from the National Cancer Institute. So that's insane to me because while the, the rest of that money from the, uh, National Cancer Institute goes to all different types of cancers, which are all so important, um, they all deserve as much funding as they can possibly get. Um, but you know, a chunk of the money will go to breast cancer or prostate cancer or whatever for childhood cancer, 4% goes to every single type of cancer that there is for all children, only 4%. So there's really not a lot of funding. So there's a lot of kids who um, get a type of cancer where there's just no research and there's nothing for them. And so I'll talk a little bit more about that later, about specific kids that I've known and their experiences with that and um, how terrifying it would be to have a type of cancer and have doctors just say, well, there's no research for this type of cancer, so there's nothing we can do. Um, so that's why we're trying to raise money because we need more research and more funding to help these kids have options when they get this horrible disease. So um, I'll talk more about that in a minute, but for now we should give away more prizes. Yes, I definitely do. So we are, I'm looking at the Fundly right now. I'm gonna, re, can I refresh? I'm gonna refresh it. You're at $70,000 raised. You guys are incredible. Um, oh my gosh, an anonymous person donated $5,000. Thank you, anonymous. That's so much money. Um, Lacey donated $800. Thank Yay. you so much, Lacey. Also, Lacey sent a gift to Flynn in the PO box the other day. And I never said thank you. Thank you. He loves it. There's a bunch of really cute, sweet presents for him and he freaked out. Um, Russ, $500. Thank you. Ballinger family, $500. My dad, $500. Oh, that's still my house. I'm going to cry. My family is so sad. I didn't even know. Um, Deborah, $500. Why is this making me cry? Sarah, $500. Jillian, $450. Michelle, $434. Sydney, $400. You guys, it's making me emotional. You guys are donating so much money. Thank you so, so, so much. That's so, so, so nice. generous of you all. And we under it's so understand, like, some of you appreciate it. Yes. It all adds up. But, like, a huge thank you to these big donors. Like, mm -hmm. we couldn't have reached, like, this awesome amount of donations without you. So thank you so thank much. Thank you so, so, so much. It's amazing. It always, like, makes me emotional every year to see so many people on the Internet come together and do good. Because the Internet, especially this year, I feel, has been really, it can be really nasty. And it's really focused on, like, canceling people and negativity and gossip and um, pretty gross things. And so to, like, see a, this place that, you know, we see hate on every single day. You go on the Internet and there's just so much hate and negativity. And to have a day full of just love and, like, people being generous and kind is like, it just makes me so emotional to be reminded that there are really good people in the world. So thank you so much. Um, so the next gift, I think I'll give away some of my merch. So if you wanna grab um, anything, just have merch, a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, a book, or all of the above, um, we'll give away some merch. Sorry, this stuff's over there and it's literally just me and Corey. So. Um, he's getting something right now. So I'm going to find some people, but I'm going to read some more stuff while he's grabbing some things. Um, by the way, 50% of all chemotherapy treatments 
are over 25 years old. Like they haven't, there's a lot of, that's another thing that I've learned um, after meeting so many different people with cancer and um, working with these kids is a lot of the times the parents are telling me, we're trying a treatment that's they haven't done new research on in 20 years or 15 years, or this medicine we're trying is like something they used in the seventies and they haven't updated it. So um, yeah, these, that's another thing. Like the research is so important if you have more funding to get, you know, more treatments and cures, hopefully um, for this stupid disease <laughs> that should not exist and no one should have to go through ever. Um, so yeah, here we go. So we have a bunch of stuff here. So how about we give away, I'm going to give away the Miranda, the old Miranda, um, red hoodie. I just came out with a tie dye one. We'll be giving away the tie dye one too. Um, so here's, this is a very big one. Um, and we'll also give away, let's do this fun, the doodle shirt. And I'm going to give this to Molly Knight on Funly. Said, Colleen, I wish I could afford to donate more. We watched the concert last night too. I hope this little extra helps. We love you. And she gave a $20 donation. That is so sweet. So I'm, there you go. So you can just go ahead and write this. So Molly Knight, Corey's emailing you right now from our um, fundraiser email. So look out for that. Whatever email you signed up for with Fundly, that's the email that this will get sent to. We've had a couple people in the past who never respond to our emails. And so sometimes we're wondering if it goes to your spam or if you signed up with Fundly with a fake email or something, that's how we're contacting you. So just make sure to look out for that email. Um, so there's that. While he's emailing her, I will give away um, my, I don't know, I wouldn't, I don't know what to do. There's, I always have a hard time with this. I will give away, how about, my self-help book and the no offense shirt and the women are incredible shirt that i'll give these three things away and i'll sign the book so um now i'm going to look on twitter and see um who is spreading the word and you guys are all so sweet everyone's promoting it so much i love you guys Okay, so this, oh my gosh, okay. So, um, Katie Straub 7, your profile picture is you at Waitress <laughs> with me. Like I can tell because there's play bowls everywhere and there's also a dumpster behind me and there was a big dumpster trash and I always felt bad for the people who waited outside the stage door by that dumpster. So since you waited by the dumpster, I feel bad, but also you've been promoting the stream so much um, and you watch the concert, and so um, I'm going to give this to you. What is she? This is she's getting the Women Are Incredible shirt. Ways to write it all down. The No Offense shirt, and my self help book. And this is her account. Um, all right. So let's. I'm going to update and see where we're at. So you think I've learned over the years, like. I've been doing this for so many years that you'd think I'd learn to have like a team of people here, everyone doing different things and like helping. Um, but no, I'm still, it's just me in my living room on my floor with Corey. 78,000 dollars. You guys are amazing. I cannot believe this. So um, I, I don't even know what to talk, there's so much to talk about. I don't even know where to begin and there's so much to give away. I feel like I just need to keep going. So the next prize will be the theater kid shirt and my diary, um, my other book. I will be signing the book and sending it off to you. So I'm going to look on the Fundly for um, another donation and see what we can find here. 79,000, this is insane, I'm so grateful. Um, okay. This is so hard. I just want to don't give everyone a prize and all of you a hug. Uh, how about, oh, it's so, I just, I don't know. It's so hard to pick. Um, okay. I, this, I, I want to pick everyone. This is so difficult. 
I, I have such a hard time picking people because you guys are all so generous and so kind. Um, also, but as I'm looking through this and I'm picking someone, please, I beg you times a billion, do not donate money to win a prize. And then if you don't win, take the money back. I promise you I'm giving away prizes, just as many prizes. I'll try to keep it pretty even to people who are just spreading the word and people who are donating money. I understand if you can't donate money, but to donate money and then take it back if you don't win a prize, um, this money's for charity and we're excited to tell these uh, companies how much we've raised. And so I don't wanna tell them we've raised a certain amount and then a bunch of money be taken out and then I have to give them less. So um, please, if you're gonna donate, I'm so grateful. And, and, and if you can't, that's totally okay. You don't have to donate and then take the money away. So, oh my gosh, we hit 80,000, thank you. I know, I, we added an extra at the beginning when you were looking for the, it's right here, this is this one. So she went and got it because she was asking who wanted a Starbucks. Uh, and so we were asking them who wants a Starbucks and she's like, I'll get a gift card. And so that's you why also that's were in the room. So I just got you another Starbucks. Oh, <laughs> thank you. So <laughs> Corey was so confused. He's like, we have gift cards. What is this? Where did this come from? Um, okay. So I know. Uh, I'm, you guys are so nice. I just, it's, uh. okay, how about this? Fernanda Gonzalez, um, less than a minute ago on the Funly said, you have been such a light during quarantine and my little sister and I watch your vlogs every day together. Thank you for all you do. And so um, we're going to contact you, Fernanda, on your Funly, on Funly, you'll get an email from us. And you won the theater kid shirt and the book. Um, Rich, can you grab a prize for me? Anything you want. The Bob Ross guitar. Oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was very rude of me to belch in front of you, but I'm disgusting. So the next prize is um, really, really cool. My brother Christopher builds guitars and paints them, and they're beautiful. I have one, and it's a, um, a waitress guitar. It's an electric guitar. It's amazing. And he did... The coolest guitar, if you guys want to see it, I'm going to show you a picture, but also you can see there's a YouTube video of him making the guitar. Um, he built the guitar from scratch and then painted it, and it's a Bob Ross guitar. So it looks like this. Um, it's beautiful. I don't have it with me in person because he's not here. It's, he's been playing it in his Insta story. Um, he's been playing it in his Insta story. Okay, so I'm going to go to that. It's beautiful. Hold on, let me go find him on my Instagram. Christopher. So this is really cool because it, I mean, it could be a good gift for someone for Christmas. Um, if, but also if you just like playing guitar and you want a guitar, it's truly, they're beautiful guitars. They're, they sound amazing and they look so cool. So he, I'm going to show you this. He built this. I'm going to turn this on. beautiful if you guys want to see it you can look his instagram is chris ballinger um you can go see his insta story of him doing it or you can look on youtube there's um obviously a video of him making it and building it it's beautiful so if you guys play guitar and you need an electric guitar um let me know <laughs> um let me see so how about Corey, will you read a story while I'm looking for someone for sure. this? Or Rachel or anyone? So let's talk about oh, so many stories, I don't even know. So we're gonna talk about, um, let's talk about Dominic. So Family Reach, um, that company that I've been talking about, sent me some stories of people of, that they're helping, some of the kids and the families that they will help with the money that we raise. So you guys get to know some of these kids personally and know who you're helping by donating money. 
All right, Dominic, and he's this really cute, I don't know if you can see yeah, it. Yeah, I'll pull up a picture of him really quick. Really cute boy, he's playing soccer. He says, uh, meet Dominic. Three-year-old cancer hero Dominic is a frequent visitor to the place many want to avoid right now, the hospital. As he continues to go through chemotherapy, his parents are carrying the weight of what it means to have a child with cancer during the global pandemic. On top of the unmanageable emotional distress they're also dealing with ser severe financial challenges. When Dominic was di diagnosed, his dad reduced his hours to work part-time to care for his son, but COVID-19 is making it difficult for him to even secure those reduced hours. And as the bills continue to pile up, the family is facing more unexpected costs as they recently have moved to another apartment due to unsafe mold conditions. Mm -hmm. Families like these seek our support every day and we are committed to helping them overcome these financial barriers. Oh, he's so cute too. I have to show you a picture, but I'm, I'm looking for someone. So what's really cool about Family Reach is that <laughs> this money that you're donating today literally is going to people like this, like literally going to Dominic. Like that story breaks my heart. And I think that's so awesome that, that what we're doing today. How about let's read about um, let's do Renee. Okay. These stories make me cry. I'm trying to think <laughs> uh, Okay, and here's Renee with a really beautiful picture. Okay. After making it through a tough 2019 filled with breast cancer diagnosis, mastectomy, total lymph, lymph node dissection, and chemotherapy, Renee was ready to go to get back on her feet. But when COVID-19 made its way to the United States, her doctor told her to hold off on returning to her job as a preschool teacher until the danger of the pandemic passes. I'm, and this is a quote, I'm using the tools I developed to, to, to survive cancer to survive the outbreak as well, Renee explained. But financially, I'm stuck. I'm a single mom, so it's all on me. By providing Renee financial support, we can help her overcome the setback COVID-19 caused in her plan to return to physical and financial health. For Renee's part, she's still bringing humor and positivity to everyone around her. As a two-time cancer survivor, I can only laugh at the irony of it, of it all and focus on the light, she said. The cleansing, the healing, the helping, the supporting, the whole world is doing right now and I already feel the light. It's brilliant. Okay. I'm, I'm just reading everyone's stories on Twitter too. It's like all making me very emotional and it's very hard to, um, okay. Um, okay, so I, I picked a, a winner for the guitar. I'm going to go with Lydia, lesbian1234. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. She says, new to the Twitter fandom, here for a good time. I'm old compared to most of the fandom. She, her. Um, so she said, I watched a live stream concert yesterday, and this is what makes my little heart just explode. I'm a theater counselor for kids with chronic illnesses at a camp. It's going to make me cry. It's like my dream job. <laughs> um, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, chronic illnesses at a camp called Victory Junction in North Carolina. Thank you for doing this. Um, and she's been sharing the fundraiser, um, and she plays guitar. So... This is her, I'm going to follow you. This is her um, Twitter. So Corey will reach out to you um, to get your address to send you the guitar. And I'm, yes, I'm not laughing that she's a lesbian. Like, obviously not. We no, support, we love it. We, we love, love the name. We support her. I just, I live. Well, if she's lesbian, we don't know. It just oh. is lesbian. Like, she could just be doing a play on words. We don't know if she's okay, lesbian. Cancel my remarks. <laughs> <laughs> she just has a, a clever um, Twitter bio name, whatever it's called. Okay, I'm gonna refresh my funly. Um, Rich, can you go ninety-one thousand dollars? Yes, you guys are incredible. Um, okay, I'm gonna give one away to someone who donated the, uh, to the funly. How about? Well, what price though? I don't know. Let's pick a prize. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you, let's go with the, the, uh, the suits as well. We're gonna to have to start doing everything together because it's gonna take know, seven to ten hours. Time. The James Charles mini palette signed by James, we got this from him yesterday, is fresh ink. Um, so James was nice enough to donate this. 
so, so sweet to donate this um, to us this year. He also donated some sweatpants that I think he doesn't even sell anymore. They're like the butterfly yeah, sweatpants. Yeah, apparently we have the butterfly sweatsuit, you know, top and bottom, and I guess it's sold out, so it's a wear commodity. But I have it, so you can match me if you win. Um, so we're going to give away this James Charles palette, and it is signed by the one and only James Charles himself. Um, maybe, uh, I don't know, because I feel like maybe I'll do a different one. Oh, right now, Colleen is reading um, the comments on the funny page. There's a lot of, if you want to take a look, there's a lot of great stories from people on here on um, why they're donating. Um, people who haven't been able to donate in the past is their first time donating, they're really excited. Right, so right now I'm looking at Christy Mazuelo. So I'm sure I said your name wrong. I'm sorry. Hi, Colleen. I hope this little bit of money can help someone. It can, I promise you. She didn't need $15. I am also an anxious theater kid, so I can relate to you a lot. Love you. So I'm going to send you this palette, Christy. It actually says she's donated $40. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe she did twice or something. Maybe, I don't know. But you win this James Charles lot. So thank you so much. Um, you want the sweatsuit now? Um, sure. Now I we'll have do a bunch of stuff back here for you too. Oh, thank you. We'll do the sweatsuit next because okay. we just said that, and then he's not give away the sweatsuit from James Charles. Um, the butterfly. Oh, she's cute. Oh, this is cleaner than mine. Mine is like I wear it so often. It's really cute. So just on the island. It's like this on the back, this on the front. So cozy. Very nice quality. Sisters apparel and cute pants with um, the drawstring. This is a size. I should probably tell you that, huh? Small. And the shirt. My hair was on it. I almost just sent you my DNA. By the way, if you get prizes from us, I can almost guarantee there will be cat hair on it and my hair. Small. So this is a size small. So if you're a size small or know someone who's a size small who would enjoy this, that's what we're doing right now. Oh, Eric's still here. I know he's quiet. He's in here. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to find a queen to send this to. Oh, it's so hard. I love you guys. Oh, it's because look at Colleen. She donated last year and this oh, year. Oh, that's why. Okay, thank Come you for Christy. donating two years in a row. Um, okay, let me see. This person. Okay, so here we go. This girl, uh, Michaela. Michaela said she's a size small. She loves James and she watched the Christmas concert last year. So she don't, or this year, so she donated. And she's been posting like crazy the fundraiser. So thank you, Michaela. This is her Twitter. And you won the James Charles sweatsuit. Congratulations. Next, there's so many prizes, guys. This is gonna take a while. Next, I'm gonna give it okay. So one new element this year is I'm going to give away things that we don't have physically with us because usually what we do is we get a bunch of prizes and we often don't want to buy prizes or get you know big ticket items ourselves out at stores and we buy stuff to give away. And this year we aren't going anywhere because of the quarantine. So I was thinking, why would I order things online to then get to my house to then reship it and repackage it and reship it to someone new? So there are a few things that I'm going to show you on my phone that I will just have shipped directly to you. So they're not gonna come to my house first and then go to you. I'm just gonna show you what it is and then, does that make sense? Okay, so um, I'm doing that with my new merch, by the way, because I don't have my new merch physically with me. So the new merch, I'm going to show you the merch item and then I'll pick a winner and I'll have my merch company ship it to you directly for free. And right now we're at $95,000, which is really exciting because we just started if you look at last year's funnily page in 2019, we raised $145,000 and we're literally almost at 100,000. I think that's amazing. You guys are so Great amazing. Job. 
So the next, okay, thank you for the applause. <laughs> I'm going to give away some Apple AirPods. That's a photo of Apple AirPods, the new fancy pants Apple AirPods. I hate Apple AirPods, but most people love Apple AirPods. Um, I, I just am too old for them. I can't understand how they work in Bluetooth and all that. Are they the noise canceling ones? They're whatever the new ones are. Oh, noise canceling. Oh yeah, oh, those. Corey wants them. <laughs> now I know what to get Corey for Christmas. No. Um, so, um, so yes, I'm getting those for someone right now. So that is a fun, good ticket item. So if y'all need some new Apple AirPods, let me know. <laughs> um, so while I'm waiting to pick someone for that, um, I do want to talk a little bit more about uh, some people who are amazing. Um, so I'm not ready to talk about that yet. There's, there's too much. So I have all these, these notes, guys. I'm so organized. Um, let's see here. We can talk about... Okay, okay. So I was talking earlier about how um, there's a lot of treatments that are very old or some kids don't even have treatments available for them. Um, so we met, the picture of my Funly account is us with a girl named Sky. She's amazing. And I talked about her a lot last year. I've talked about her a lot this year. I talk about her a lot all the time. Um, I met Sky at the hospital last year um, for my birthday. But prior to that, I had sent her a box of goodies because I had heard her story. And then I went and met her in person. And then we stayed in touch. And um, became friends and we became close to their family and she's just amazing and she had a very rare type of cancer um, called nut midline carcinoma nut carcinoma and um, there when I met her she just was like I just would love if you'd help raise awareness for this type of cancer there's no research there's no funding and so um, you know the doctors basically got to a point where they're like we don't really have anything else to do for you here um, so you know, well, they sent her to Boston for some treatments in Boston to try, try stuff out. I think she was the third person or third child ever to have that specific treatment. It did not work because um, they're just trying it because they didn't have anything for it. They had nothing for her type of cancer. There's no, there's not enough research and no, um, no treatments for it at all. And so uh, unfortunately, Sky passed away at the beginning of this year. And um, if we had more funding and could get more research, we could have had more options for someone like Sky. But that's why it's important that we tell her story and, um, you know, let people know that that's why this is so important. Because there are other kids out there right now who are in Sky's position who need more options, who, who need treatments. And there's just not enough funding for people like that. On top of that, Sky's mom was, you know, a single mother with two daughters trying to pay all the bills and also take care of her daughter. And um, there's just so, so many different reasons why this is super important uh, for people like Sky. Um, so, you know, and I'm pretty sure I remember her saying that some of the treatments they were doing for her and the treatments that they had were really, really, really old. I feel like I remember her saying that in the hospital. I've heard that many times. So um, that's just another reason why this is, this is so, so important. So, um, She's one of many incredible kids I've met doing this. And I've met kids who beat cancer. I've met kids who are still battling cancer. And I've met kids who we've lost to cancer. And it would be awesome if over the years, that number got to be less and less of the people we lose. Um, and you guys are helping make that happen with your donation. So thank you. If you guys have a time after this live stream you should really watch colleen's cancer video that she just made she interviews sky's sister and her mom and her mom the way she talks about sky and the way she talks about her struggles and the way she talks about her love and life for sky is beautiful and it's heartwarming and it's it motivates me to do a change and i hope it motivates you guys too so i really highly recommend you guys take a look at that yeah she also talks a lot about um talks a lot about uh, how much it meant to them to see people um, supporting them in this way. She talked about this fundraiser and what we're doing and how much that meant to her and how much it meant to Sky and that it just showed them that there were people who cared and that loved them. And so just by you guys tuning in right now is it can help these people so much. So thank you. Um, 
So I am, this is it's very Another difficult thing, to find people. Uh, if you guys watch that video, a lot of the, the, the kids that Colleen talked to um, with cancer, they said what is a huge help is just being a friend. Mm -hmm. Literally, you know, to throw that mentality that they're sick and weak and, you know, they're going through something horrible, just to be a friend and be a smile and be happy like that. And, and that seemed like a, like a theme with all the patients that Colleen talked to. Like, they really just want to have someone be there for them and be a friend. Right. So, if, I mean, if that's something you can do in your area or whatever, go to ch children's hospitals and or if you have a friend that is struggling through cancer right now, it's really important to check in on them and just be like, hey, I love you and, um, you know, send them positive vibes that way. Okay, here we go. I've, it's really hard. There's so many incredible people talking about all this and helping. Um, and these are, we're, we're looking for a person to give away the AirPods to. Yes, and I, and I have seen some people um, creating new accounts today on Twitter to share the um, fundraiser to win prizes. <laughs> this is not me calling anyone out or shading anyone, but the point of you sharing the fundraiser to spread awareness is to spread awareness to your followers. But if you've started an account today and have zero followers and zero people are following you, then that's not doing... You hit 100,000! <laughs> but thank you. But do you guys know what I'm saying? Like, if you start an account today and have zero followers and you have zero following and you're using that to spread awareness, it's not spreading awareness because there's no one's going to see it. <laughs> so, so I thank you for... If you're creating a new account to now for the future be able to spread awareness, that's amazing and thank you so much. Um, but if you're doing it just to win a prize, but no one's going to see it, then that does defeat the purpose of spreading awareness. But I still appreciate you promoting and talking about it. And um, anyway, Crystal, I don't know how to say your last name, so I'm not going to. Crystal7B on Twitter said, please donate or share. I lost my best friend 18 years ago to leukemia when we were 13. I could not save her, but want to save others. I want to donate, and she would have wanted me to. Donate through watching the Christmas show yesterday. So I'm going to follow you, and I'll have... Corey, uh, message you because you won the AirPods. Yay, AirPods. The next person is going to win. How about this Escape the Night bundle? I'm curious to y'all, like, what's the prize that you're excited about? Like, what's the, the penguin the, pillow bag. What's the big ticket <laughs> item? Because I feel like what should be the end one? Like, We have an iPad. We have Eric's tutu. We have a drawing from Flynn. We have Zoom calls from me. We should get one of those ways soon. All right. Okay. Yeah, so tell us which one you want. But Escape the Night Bundle, Joey Graceffa is one of my bestie best friends, and he's so wonderful and amazing, and he gave me a bunch of stuff. We have this from Escape the Night, which I was on two seasons of Escape the Night. I love that show. And um, he signed this. These are the cards we use to vote for people on Escape the Night. And let me just tell you, when the voting took place, each night when we were filming, every time they pulled up a card or like, girl, this is how we got voted out. Really? Uh, watch this show. I'm not, I'm YouTube not paying for YouTube for Red. Sorry. Okay. So anyway. She's not a billionaire. <laughs> so um, these give me anxiety. Um, and we also have this really cute hoodie. His merch is really nice quality, super cute. This like marbly green, so cool. We also have this Escape the Night shirt. So cute, and an Escape the Night hoodie. Oh, it's an, it's an Escape, oh, this is from his escape room, because he made an escape oh, room. Oh, cute. And I couldn't do it, why couldn't I, I was thinking I was out of town, or I had just given birth or something. <laughs> I don't know. One of those things. One of the things I couldn't go for some reason. I think, I think I was out of town filming, I don't know what I was doing, but I couldn't go, I was very sad because. A mom of uh, Joey and me, our thing that we do together is escape rooms, We before the pandemic. We would go to escape rooms all the time together. And so I was so sad I couldn't go. I remember in my head, we were like, can we squeeze in? I know, we wanted but to. I don't remember what it was. I think we were actually doing a show somewhere. Yeah. Um, $103,000, you guys, this is crazy. Thank you so much. Um, you guys are so nice. I love you. Um, so I'm just going to read some of the things people are saying. Uh, Suzanne's said, Colleen, you are such a kind person for doing these fundraisers. So many people benefit from your grace and light. 
Uh, Sarah said, thank you for doing this. I lost a family member to cancer and I know every penny towards research helps. Um, <laughs> you're so sweet. Everyone's so nice. These, all these little comments are, I know it takes me a long time to pick winners, guys. It's just so hard because you're all so sweet. I want to give everyone a prize. I kind of takes text from Liv. And she said the big ticket item is the artwork from Mr. Flynn. It is the big ticket <gasps> item. Are you doing like Flynn art? You should go That's look at it. Precious. It's amazing. I'll bring in some more prizes. Um, Kylie said donated $10 earlier. I know it's not much. My grandmother was diagnosed um, with several types of cancer. Can't imagine a child's struggle. Caitlin said the concert yesterday was great. I lost my aunt to cancer. All the research matters. Um, Ingrid said, I've spent time volunteering with children in hospitals through Project Sunshine Cancer, something no one should go through. Um, Ingrid, I'm going to pick you to win this prize because I love that you do that. I love that you donate time um, at the hospital. Um, that is a great way to help. So, Ingrid, I'm going to send you this stuff from Joey Graceffa, some cozy, cute clothes, and the, this. Yeah. This is from Flynn. This is the big ticket item. Flynn drew this yesterday. And there's also this Polaroid. <laughs> you giving that away? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know it's iconic. It's all, I'll take a picture of it before I give it away. But. Um, so next gift. Is it the Flynn stuff? No, oh. it's a big ticket item. I'm sorry. You want to do a Rosanna? Yeah, let's do it. Rosanna Pancino gave a bunch of stuff. She gave, I think there's four. Do you want like one of each or just one? What are they? Uh, are they all the same? Oh, she's so nice. It's her book. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. We have the Nerdy Nummies spatula and her Nerdy Nummies book, and it comes with some stickers. In this cute little box. This is so cute. Packaged all cute. So there's wow. one more of each of these, and then also the okay. same dogs. Oh, and her other book too. Okay, so oh, cute. Oh, I think she told me these are sold out. These are her dogs. I have to look at the text she sent me. Um, let me look at the text. She so I love Rosanna. Rosanna Pantino is a gem. Like a sweet. She's really nice. Oh my gosh, the kindest. I adore her. Um, she said, I hope you have a great live stream. I also found two of the plushies I just released and left those two. The darker one is sold out. This one is sold out. And there's only a few of lighter ones that are still available. So, um, Miss you beautiful. She's so sweet. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give away the dark plushie and this Nerdy Nummies package. It is the Nerdy Nummies cookbook. This looks like her first one. I think this is her first book. And the other one must be the new book. She's amazing. Yeah, the other one's new. So this is her first cookbook. It's incredible. I have both. Um, and this dark plushy. So let's go check and see who we're going to give this away to. I'm going on funly really fast. I'm going to do these as quick as I can. I know I've been slow, guys. Um, I love I just said I'm going to do it quickly, and now I'm quiet. <laughs> How about let's give this to, oh, so many people are giving away so much. Um, Letitia Yund donated um, $750 between last year and this year. So she donated two years in a row. And Letitia, thank you so much. We're sending you these. Thank you, you're amazing. Your money is gonna help so much. You have no idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this year she donated, I think she donated $600 this year. Yeah, $600. Thank you so much. That is so nice. Um, oh, wait, should we have, do you want to? Oh, yeah. I need to yeah. I'll put that up for you there. There you go. And I'm going to look for the next one on Twitter. The next one will be the white plushie and Rose new book. You could also win a prize just by sharing today's link, the funny link, and mm -hmm. also if you were at the show yesterday. Mm -hmm. So just tweet out Pauline, let her know, or, you know, use the hashtag. What was it again? Um, we don't have a hashtag. Let's figure that out. For the kids. Um, cure for kids or? Mine was for the kids. For the kids. I don't know. 
It should be. I think that's already a hashtag. Um, what's a unique hashtag? Can you guys tell me what hashtag it should be? Tell me what the hashtag should be. Thank you and good night. Um, this is, I, I know I said I'd do this fast and then I lied. <laughs> um, help me think of a hashtag, guys. I think it's the brain power for that. You talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> she just mocking us and came up with the little pet. You talked about it, but never gave it away. What? Oh, we haven't given away yet. Did you give it away? Not the yet. Penguin? No, no, that's a big yet. ticket item. Oh, I'm sorry. That's up there with the, the fun stuff with this. Okay. You guys are so sweet. I love everyone talking about the live stream. It's making me so happy. Um, okay, so here for this cutie patootie and this box of roast stuff, I'm gonna give it away to, oh no, I'm gonna say your name wrong, I'm sorry. Sarai? 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 Joker's Girl 03. Um, so she said she loves baking and she's been sharing the link. So thank you so much for sharing the link and um, being excited about it. You guys, are, you're so sweet. She's been just promoting it and thank you. So here's her good day off. Um, next, we'll do another row box. So we have another Rosanna Pancino book. And in it, I'll show you. I've already told you, but it's so cute. It comes with the spatulas. We use Rose stuff all the time here. All her products are incredible. And she's like just the most amazing, sweet person I've literally ever met in my life. Um, Looking on funly now. Oh, you guys are so nice. All these little nice messages. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, Sophia Figueri, Figuera, I am saying your name's wrong. I'm not good at reading. Thank you so much for what you're doing. I just donated $50. My best friend named her son after Flynn. We love you. So um, I'm gonna here's your contact and she gets this this beautiful nerdy nummies. This is the older nerdy nummies. Got it. Book. Yeah, white box. Or the first one. And then the final nerdy nummies book and spatulas is going to go to you're gonna find guys this is so difficult to pick people. Mm, guys, it's very hard to pick people, I'm just saying. Everyone's being so nice. Cancer back off. <laughs> I like that, that's cute. Um, a Colleen for kids. Uh -oh. What do you guys like better? Cancer back off or Colleen for kids? For the hashtag, tweet me right now and say cancer back off or Colleen for kids. Use a hashtag. Someone said it's pronounced Figuera. Thank you for correcting me. Um, cancer back off, cancer back off. I feel like cancer back off. Okay, use the hashtag cancer back off when you're tweeting about it. Um, yeah, most people like cancer back off. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I love it. Okay. I know I'm looking. <laughs> okay. um, it's it's helpful for you guys to help uh, Rachel when you have chances to look for. I have to pick people. I'll read you some. I don't, uh, have, this, I don't, have, this, I don't have a stress case no. abilities. I'll read some comments from Funly. Uh, Kayla Ortz says, "I washed my dad's car, so this is all I can donate plus the twenty dollars yesterday." 
In March, I raised $300 by doing a big sale. Thank you so much. What a big sale! Oh my Taylor gosh. Williams. Yeah, I'll, let's do her. She can, she can win. That's so nice. She's washed her dad's car. Oh, just to get some money. <laughs> that was, that's so nice. I used, used to make me wash your car for free. No, I didn't. You I did a lot of things. I never made you wash my car. Oh, excuse me. Car wash with Sasha. That was a video. Yeah. That was a, you what? made me wash wait, your car. Wait, wait. Why do you? That was, a video. That was literally. Out. That video was weird. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, your idea. A little bit <laughs> that video was weird. When so I've been doing videos like basically my whole life, making like ridiculous videos. Um, even before YouTube, and that was a weird one. We did like it was Rachel and all her friends. And the baby we wanted to do, yeah. We, who ended up being my babysitter? Um. Anyway, what do you want to give away? Let's give away. Would let's you like to give away a CD. Sure. Would let's you like give Taylor Swift or Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato. Oh, don't grab other things. What are you I'm doing? All the things. No. Okay. Demi Lovato signed. Signed by the Demi Lovato, the actual, and a CD. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is a round <laughs> disc. And if you put it into a CD player, which is a box. Sometimes you find them in your car. Sometimes they're in old cars. And you then it spins it. And when it spins, music plays. It's the craziest thing. And this is how old people used to listen to music, is on these things. So this is a signed Demi Lovato CD. Let's pick someone for that. Um, and then we'll do. And while she's looking, let me see if I can read some fun comments. Right. Here, oh, before go you go, I'm going to say um, Misty Hammock said, I started donating last year to this foundation after my mom passed unexpectedly, and we received a lot of donations to help with funeral costs. It was so crazy to me how people I didn't even know were donating to help us. So I feel like that is just such a good story to hear that like every penny, you guys have no idea, it really helps just for them to know. So um, this is for you, Misty, and I'm so sorry to hear about your mom. Um, who am I getting? You're giving me the CD and Corey the mom. This is this, this yes. is this. Um, next, let's do the California Blue. Is there anything else? Are, are, these, are all my merch things on? No. no. What else is my merch? We have lipstick and we let's have a Miranda bubble bath thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And a Miranda let's, shirt. Okay. I'm going to give away my California hoodie and my lipsticks. This is an extra large. I like them like big and baggy on me. So extra large actually fits a lot of people. So um, don't think like, oh, I'm a small, so that won't fit me because the big sizes are nice on. Uh, I wear, I usually wear a larger, extra large. Yeah, the, the bigger sizes are really nice, actually. Um, you guys are so nice. I'm just like so obsessed with you all. Uh, Sierra Bish says, I experienced, I experienced the pediatric hospital and went through two neurosurgeries. This is my way of giving back. Okay. Thank you. Uh... Okay. Um, I'm going to give this to Molly. Molly underscore KT said, wait, where'd it go? I just saw it. One second ago. Oh, here it is. She said, I'm a leukemia survivor. Yay. So this is important to me. I had a rare type of leukemia for four years at the age of eight. Thanks for all you do. I watch your vlogs daily. You're the best for 2020. Thank you. I'd be so grateful for any prize. Molly, you're amazing. You're my hero. Um, this is Molly. Um, leukemia survivor, you're incredible. You're incredible. Um, right now we're at $109,892. Come on, we can make 110. Good job, everyone. Yeah, you guys are so job. amazing. I cannot believe we've raised this much money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do Angela Kinsey um, sent me a bunch of stuff. Angela Kinsey's from The Office. She also is from Haters Back Off and a million other things. She's very talented, hilarious, incredible woman. And when I reached out to friends asking for things to give away at this, 
she was like the first person to respond and was like, okay. And she even, I have to show you the picture. She sent me a picture of her stuff. She's so cute. She was um, also doing this podcast called Office Ladies and it's really, really popular. Very so successful. This is one of the things. So it's a little cute fact. <laughs> She's so cute. So this is Angela holding all and wearing all the stuff that we're giving away right now. Um, so if whoever wins this, you want to screenshot this, you'll have a photo of Angela holding and wearing. You also, there's so also this awesome. mug, and on the back it has her little signature. And this ornament, the office ladies ornament. Um, so she does a podcast with Jenna Fisher, the besties, and Angela is a dream human. I'm obsessed with Angela. So um, here we go. I'm going to look. There's an apron. And there's, oh yeah, and an apron, which is super cute. And it says pl uh, party planning committee from the office. So who's an office? What? Man? That's great. I know, I want it too, it's so cute. You can buy it. Um, who is this going to? Can you read, did you read all the stories? There's one no. story, I want to read Aiden's story in a minute, but um, sure. did we do no. Nala? Mm -mm. I'll read about uh, Nala, She's a cute little baby. Okay, Sorry, on the bottom. This is Nala. All right. Nala's two years old, she's from Iowa. Nala was diagnosed with neuroblastoma in January and last month. She was air transferred to the hospital after suffering multiple cardiac arrest. She remains there and can't see her older sister due to COVID-19 restrictions. On top of that, the hospital is two hours away from her home and travel has become very expensive. Nala's mom is the sole provider for this family, but is currently unable to work, meaning they have zero income. You can make the holiday celebrations possible for families like this by donating to them. Oh. So um, all of your donations are, these, these are all the families that are being helped by Family Reach, the company we're donating to. So your donations are helping Nala. They're helping all the kids that we're talking about. Um, so for the... Uh, Angela stuff, I'm giving it to Emily Jones, Copper Boom 3 on Twitter. Um, she has been tweeting and reposting the show a ton. And she said she's obsessed with the, uh, Angela and the office and the office ladies. I found you and haters through Angela. I, want, I watched the concert yesterday. I love you. So thank you so much. And uh, we'll be sending you that. Corey will uh, contact you through Twitter. Let's do um, Joey. Well, I don't know what to do. Let's do the Miranda. This one is the Miranda, the new Miranda um, cat shirt. This is in size large, which is the size I wear when I'm Miranda. And this is the jelly bath. So this is what I use when I do Slurpee baths as Miranda. And it's really fun. And you literally just put this powder in water and it turns into like the Slurpee texture. It's actually really fun and cool and really bizarre. Um, so I'm giving you my last jelly bath and also a Miranda shirt. So I'm going to go to Funly. And okay. Um, well, you guys are so awesome. I love you so much. Uh, you guys. <laughs> so someone commented something funny. So there's a woman named Tiffany said, I'm a new nurse. Stories like the ones you shared on the live stream are why I went into the nursing. Yes. You're amazing. Thank you so much for being a nurse. Yeah, I can't I imagine think, being a nurse this year. I think we're going through a nurse shortage right now. Really? Yeah. So yes, Queen, thank you for what you do. Wow. Yes. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, let's see. Now I want um, Taco Bell because Tia was eating Taco Bell. Do you want me to post my two some Taco I Bell? might. We might need to post my okay, Taco Bell. Okay, we can post my Taco Bell. Uh, oh, sweetie, let me just see what this is. Sweetie. Okay. Oh, no. This is, I keep losing the people I'm like, you know. <laughs> Sorry, you pick back. six people. <laughs> I, know, I pick up people and I read their story, and then I read another one, and I, I'm sorry. Um, where did it go? I just found someone I wanted to Where did it go? Okay. So I lost the person I was picking. So I'm trying to find them. Sorry. Give me a second. Rachel, do a dance. I can. 
Can read the last one. No, as I'm always. We can watch Rachel do the dance. Get it, got it. This is hurting my knees so much. Oh gosh, you guys are so nice. It's oh just, I just want to read everything. I Everyone's so nice. All the comments are so nice. Um, <laughs> Clean! Eric, get up and do a dance. Please. Oh, here you go. Oh, snap! What if he was wearing the tutu? <laughs> That's great. Bro. I like the beat. Thank you. I supply the beat. Have you seen how many profile pictures have changed last night? Yeah, you look really great in a red tutu. That was everyone's of favorite. Of you in a red tutu? Yeah, no. I know. It's a lot. That's pretty good. So, everyone, so what I'm. Part of the show. <laughs> Did you pick someone? Don't get um, back. Stop it. Okay, okay, Mia said, well, I need to piss back because I need to <laughs> Stop! Colleen, you lost it! Oh my god. I freaking you! Colleen, why? You refreshed the Because I lost it anyway, so I'm just starting over. <laughs> Who put you in charge of this? None of you are doing it except for me and Corey. So just if you want to pick people, you can learn how hard this is. <laughs> that person right there. I picked them. No. no. What? No, you, you can't just do it like that. You have to like make you sure it's like a real story. person and hear their story and get to know them. A lot of people out For there. a Miranda shirt and jelly bath? Yes. Okay. All right. Because a lot of people put a lot of time and effort into this. That's important to them. Okay. Uh, that's why it's so hard because I don't want to just like, I don't know. I'm scared. All right. I'm going to the cancer back off hashtag. If anyone wants to chit yes. chat for a moment. Cancer back hashtag cancer back, yes, back Rachel, off. Yes, Rachel. That's where we go. Oh, I already lost it. Cancer back off. Hold on. I I did the same thing Colleen did where I accidentally pressed back and then I lost what I was See, doing. Exactly. Well, good thing it's like the first thing that pops up. Did anyone realize the meeting greet? Here we go. All right. People are happy to join. Ryan is pregnant. Morgan and Ryan are pregnant? Congratulations. That was in the hashtag? Yeah, well, they're saying like this pregnant belly hasn't left the house, so this is very entertaining for them. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna, I just am just gonna pick someone because I'm very, it's very hard to pick someone. Um, oh, okay, Colleen, I love you so much. I'd be forever grateful for anything. I am 14 and donated $30. I love you. And that's from Claire Nichols. Claire, um, there we go. Claire, I never donated anything when I was your age. I didn't just said that didn't even cross my mind to donate money to someone. Um, and so you are amazing. Thank you so much. Sorry. I'm, I'm a mess and having a hard time picking people. Um, but it's a hard decision. So I'm going to do the Eden Rebels of Eden. Oh, AirPods is trending under your name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do, we have Joey's books. Joey Graceffa's books. Um, oh my gosh, so many. So we have Rebels of Eden, Children of Eden, and Elites of Eden. And Joey Graceffa's calendar. It's a 2015 calendar. So this, oh my gosh. This is like prime Miranda and Joey marriage time. Like this is when Miranda and Joey were like, I feel like in the thick of their relationship. Um, so I'm going to give that away right now. Cancer back off is trending. You guys are amazing. Keep it up. Keep using the hashtag cancer back off. Um, let me see here. You're, you guys are just incredible. Someone said cancer back off. Hi, Rachel. Hi. <laughs> I'm just looking to see. You guys All are right, so I'm just going to give an update. How much have we made so far? And we're at $113,985. Uh, that's amazing. Great job, everyone. We surpassed the 110 mark. You guys are amazing. Oh, this is overwhelming. <gasps> 114. And a couple oh of my seconds. gosh. It's refreshing. It's fun. I know. So again, last year I said we, the total was like 146 and we're like doing so well. Thank you to everyone. You guys are doing awesome. Thank you for sharing the link as well. Okay. So here I'm going to give these, the Garden of Eden books and the Joy Graceffa calendar to Tyler. 
your whole page is dedicated to this. Tyler Colleen's annual live stream, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is his name. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's just been family. posting about it, retweeting and sharing everyone and everything. Um, so Tyler, I guess, is a unisex name search. I should not be assuming your gender, but... I just, I always thought, I don't know. So I don't know. I have escaped a night in their handle. Oh my God, Tyler, a girl Tyler would be so cute. I know, right? Um, okay, so that's their name. And Brilliant. you won, congratulations. Brilliant. So next, I think I'm gonna do, um, I wanna read a little bit about Aiden. So I'm going to give away a couple things next. I'll give away a Zoom call with me. Do you want that thing that says that? Yeah, we'll show it and it'll be like fancy. Well, what, it's attached to another thing. I don't know. No, I need to take it out. Okay. Yeah. So I'm also going to give away coming up this. Hold on, I just want to make sure my. I was searching things um, for screenshotting things to give away that I'm have don't have in person. But am I doing this right? Yeah. This. We were doing this okay. Zoom hangout with Colleen. I'm also next going to be giving away this. Polaroid camera with all these cute things. I love Polaroid cameras. I think it's a great gift because they're cute <laughs> and they're fun. And it's like one of those things that you didn't know you needed, but then when you have it, you're like, I need this, it's amazing. Um, but it comes with all that stuff, um, the Polaroid film and all those fun things. Um, so that's another one I'm giving away soon. So Zoom and the Polaroid thing. Um, but I wanna read about Aiden. So be donating right now, be sharing the fundraiser because I'm giving those away next. But I wanted to share about Aiden, who one of my best friends, Christina. Her, um, she has a very close friend uh, who lost her son to cancer last year, a year ago, this month. And um, when I was getting ready for the fundraiser and doing research on all these different kids and and stuff, I happened upon her again, her Instagram page again, because actually, there's a girl I follow on TikTok. So I'm all over the place. Named Jocelyn. So I'm going to show her to you right now. I talked to her mom in my most recent YouTube video on this channel about Jocelyn. Jocelyn has brain cancer. Um, uh, ATRD is what it's called. This is the most recent TikTok. They said they were asked, jo Jocelyn was asked if she could paint a canvas for one of you guys. So this is her painting a little canvas. She's so freaking cute. So um, that's Jocelyn. She's amazing and the cutest little girl. She is turning three in a couple days. So she's just so cute and little and just amazing. Um, let me just see if there's any other. She's so fun. I love her so much. So she has um, brain cancer and she beat it and she was cancer free. She got to ring the bell. There's a video for Ring the Bell. I'm going to find it because it's so freaking cute. It's packed. So if you want to follow them on TikTok, um, I think their TikTok is team underscore Jocelyn. If you want to follow them and you can follow her journey. Um, here she is. I'm almost to it. Here she is. Ringing the bell. Because she's cancer free. So at the hospital when you... I don't know if your chemo treatments or, and if you um, are cancer free, you get to ring the bell. And it's a really exciting, emotional, special moment. So she got to ring the bell and then unfortunately her cancer came back. And so speaking about cancers that um, research and how that works is there's a lot of research on certain types of cancers sometimes, but then when cancer, her mom was telling me when it, it reoccurs, there's less research and there's also a, a lower um, rate of survival when it resurfaces. So there's not as much um, research as they need for people like uh, Jocelyn. But um, anyway, another kid who had brain cancer was um, my friend's uh, Christina, her friend, uh, she lost her son last year. And so I just wanted you to hear what it's like for um, a mother to go through this and why I love raising money for family reaches. They help the parents and the families. Um, so he died um, when he was 20 months old. So he wasn't even two years old on November 12th last year. And he battled atypical teratoid, rabtoid, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, um, 
I have a typo here, but ATRT is what it's called. And um, it's a rare and aggressive form of brain cancer. So she has a blog and you can follow her blog. It's myjustwritelife.com slash blog, I think. And um, she wrote a year after he passed. And I wanted to read this to you guys, if I can. <laughs> I need to go to seven. So it's, this blog post is called A Year in Grief. Getting out of bed is still hard, not as hard as it was a year ago. I can't even read a sentence. <laughs> but there are still days when the weight of grief on my chest is too heavy. It's like being trapped under an immovable object. I have to slide, roll, and duck until I can finally limbo my way to my feet to stand up. I don't worry about leaving my grief behind. I know it will catch up with me at some point in the day. And if not, it will be there when I get back in bed again. My husband and I were like a slinky stretching across the house to take care of something only to be pulled back to one another to cry when he passed. I remember coming out of the house holding a hospital blanket. I snuck in my bag crying. It smells like him. It smells like him. It didn't have the sweet smell of a baby or even the sticky smell of a toddler. It smelled like chemo. A mix of mothballs and musk cologne. It didn't smell good, but it smelled like him. I still sleep with this blanket every night. I haven't washed it. There's a lot more. <laughs> I'm debating whether or not I should even read it. Um, whew. Every morning I move around Aiden's changing table and crib to get dressed. The white crib, a hand-me-down from Peyton, um, is filled with the dozens of blankets and stuffed animals. I have his binder from the child care center. There is a bin of his favorite toys and a basket with a mold of his hand, footprints, and a lock of his hair. The poster boards and pictures from his funeral sit up against a wall in the living room and in the dining room. I rotate the pictures from time to time. The busy board we all uh, had a hand in building is still mounted to the wall. Aiden's ashes are on the mantle in a bamboo box. The inscription reads, Aiden Thomas Henderson, February 17th, 2018 to November 12th, 2019. Your scars show your strength, your big blue eyes, your joy, your chubby hands, your playfulness. We knew every inch of you from the inside out and there's nothing more we want than to feel your heartbeat against ours. Thank you for choosing us to be your family. You are forever in our hearts, sweet boy. So I, reached out to her and asked if it was okay if I shared his story. And um, she said yes, and she said I could share anything from her blog and talk about him. And she wants you know people to know his story so that we can raise awareness and help other little kids like him. Um, but I cannot imagine losing my baby. Like I cannot, like that pain is something I, I could never even begin to imagine. Um, which is why it's so important that we do this and it's why it's, I'm so grateful that you guys are all donating. You're helping families like this um, because she shouldn't have to write this and she shouldn't have to experience this and she shouldn't have to feel this way. No one should ever. Um, so I'll show you a picture of Aiden. Um, as you guys can see little smush her face he's so cute but here we go so she oh man she's a really good writer too every time she writes anything i'm like her blog is really good she's so good it always makes me cry this is aiden and he's so cute <laughs> um there's Aiden. And he went to heaven when he was 20 months old. And that is not fair. <laughs> so, thanks, lovey. So, thank you, everyone who's donating so much. You have no idea how much it means. Um, I'm going to keep saying thank you by continuing to give away prizes. Um, so, here we go. Okay, this is a Zoom call with me. So this is gonna go to, this first, I'm gonna give away a couple Zoom calls um, with me. The first Zoom call is to Jessica. Jessica Kalena 
said, it would be amazing to have a chance to Zoom with you. I saw your Christmas show yesterday and donated what I can on the Fundly. I've been dealing with a lot of the mental health stuff, same mental health stuff as you and your vlogs have helped me so much. Hands her back off. This is Jessica. So um, we need her email so that I can email her Zoom information. So yay, you want to Zoom. And the next thing is the Polaroid camera. Ah. Okay. You're so, so oh, you guys are so nice. I love you so much. I, I'm just reading all these sweet words that you guys are saying. Uh, all right, let's go with Steph Strand for the Polaroid. She said, watched your concert yesterday and your videos for years. Personally, have chronic illnesses and had my fair share of hospital visits. It's so important to spread awareness for diseases that may not have much research or funding. Keep up this amazing work. So thank you so much. And she's getting the Polaroid. Um, so if you guys want to learn more about Aiden, um, you can you can go follow her blog. Uh, it's myjustrightlife.com um, slash blog is what I have written down here. But yeah. So that. I did pretty good. Usually I like have to stop bawling. I start like sobbing and controlling when I read about you. And so that was actually really good, guys. Okay, so the next prize will be my theater pig shirt and <laughs> unicorn pillow pet. This is uh, Vanessa. Her name is Vanessa. <gasps> I didn't even mean to do this. But do you remember Vanessa? You know Vanessa? Like, oh, I know Vanessa. Remember we used to call, before we knew her unicorn. name, we called her Unicorn Girl. Yeah. I didn't even mean to do that. No one knows what you're talking about. So there's a girl that we called Unicorn Girl who from a thousand okay. years ago. And now she's like applying for colleges. And, but she was a big fan when she was younger and would come to all my shows. And we've actually, we've actually became friends and she's lovely. But we, I knew her as Unicorn Girl, and then we learned her name was Vanessa. But I did not mean to name this I Unicorn was in the back Vanessa. Of your mind, girl. I guess it was like subconsciously. Vanessa, I, was in the back of your mind. I guess so. And she's a theater kid, so this is a very yeah. Vanessa prize. But anyway, um, okay. So <laughs> here we go. We've got. It is hard because I want to make sure these people are. Unicorn and what? Unicorn and, and theater, theater kid. kid. And then great job on donations, everyone. We're almost at one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. It's crazy. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do Gerardo, a Colleen X ball in one hashtag F U C K cancer um, for this stuff. I love the Bounders. Black Lives Matter, and then also my Fundly and he him are. The pronouns thank you so much so there you go you can write down his twitter whoops and you won the unicorn and the theater kid yep this also i literally do want to talk about all right well, you got i'll pull it yeah. up I got it. all right thanks man. okay i'm gonna give away my costume from rocky horror Picture show. I'm also going to be giving away lipsticks with this. So this is the next prize: my lipsticks and the Rocky Horror Picture Show outfit. Um, so I, my sweat is all over this <laughs> because I was so nervous when I did the Rocky Horror Picture Show this year. So I did a live stream Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, with, I mean, Seth Green, Tim Curry, Rosario Dawson, Lance Bass, who else is in it? Jason, Jason, Jason Alexander, uh, so many incredible celebrities, and it was such a fun experience, and so many of you tuned in and supported it. What's in this purse? Because that we should probably look into. Oh, my, God, no, oh, my oh, newspaper! newspaper. <laughs> so I'll sign the newspaper, and I was just making sure there weren't, like, pasties in there, because I wore pasties <laughs> that day, because I had to wear a bra, so I was like, just in case I want to wear pasties, I think I put them in the purse at one point, so just making sure there's no pasties. We wouldn't want to do that. So, okay, here we go. This is the next prize. This is a very 
niche prize. I feel like if I give this to someone random, yeah, they'll be like, I feel like it should be someone who really care about the this. Kids. <laughs> theater kids who the care and want kids. this because otherwise I feel like, if, what if I gave it to like some random woman on Funly <laughs> who's just like received it in the mail, just donated to be a nice person, has no idea what it is. Um, someone, I just, it just scrolled past it quickly, like my Twitter refresh, refresh, and I saw someone send me a photo of what I think was like a dermatillomania hand or foot, and I feel you, that looks very painful. I'm always in the same boat, and I love you, and I'm sorry you went through that. Um, we reached 120, yay! <laughs> oh job, my everyone. gosh, Amazing. thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Um, you guys are so awesome. I'm trying to find someone who would care about this thing. <laughs> it's so hard to find someone like who, because I think like who would want that? <laughs> you know. A lot of people say use the hashtag. A lot of people want it. Okay. Um. It's so funny. I'm like, who would like this? Theater kids unite. I think Flynn's awake. Yeah, yeah. He's usually pretty grumpy when he wakes up. So if he's fussy, that's why, guys, just so you know. Aren't we all? Yeah, he's very fussy when he wakes up. Though. Guys, this is a hard one. I, I might need help finding someone because I, I don't want to send this I'm to someone. I'm looking, but um, maybe this human? No one's screaming. I see. Here, hold on. What about this one? Are you doing is this I'm looking. music? Is yes, this elevator music? Like elevator music. music. Wait. That you can read? I think, but I'm also like, do they want it or are they just like being funny? Well, I saw Wait, that in their bio. No. Okay, yeah, this person. Yeah, that's that in their bio. Like, this girl's oh, excited. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this person's really excited. This person's super, super, super excited. Okay. I'm going to do this person. I mean, a lot of, now I'm seeing more people that said, yeah. so I need to go to this person and I'm my good niece. Oh my God, I picked someone. You did it. See, it's hard. And I'm not even following them. Oops. Rachel. Okay, so the Rocky, Ho I wasn't following them either. <laughs> what so the Mads, Maddie zero one one two eight one seven one. What a hambo, y'all! <laughs> I'm so excited for whoever wins this. What the heck? So there you go. <gasps> Hi, Mr. Ma. He's not happy. He's probably. Like, oh, can I have a card, Are you? Too and happy this one with the Yeah. Okay. Can I have a card? Can I have a <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give him a cuddles. Do you want to read this? Oh, big sure. <laughs> Colleen's cuddling Flynn. Oh, so um, so I'm gonna read just read this, this statistic. Each year in the U.S., there are estimated fifteen thousand seven hundred eighty children between the ages of birth and nineteen years of age who are diagnosed with cancer. Approximately one in two hundred eighty-five children in the U.S. will be diagnosed with cancer before their twentieth birthday. Globally, there are more than 300,000 children diagnosed with cancer each year. While survival rates for many types of childhood cancer have improved, for too many children, cancer will shorten their lives too soon. Cancer remains the most common cause of death by disease for children in America. All righty, guys. Let's give away another Zoom call with me. Oh, we got a lot of gift cards, too. I think we got a lot of stuff, so. Are these on the website? This one is one of the things. Okay, I'm going to wait Last. We have a flame drawing. Mm -hmm. two, two. I'm gonna give away a Zoom call right now. So let me just see who we should give a Zoom call to. Then will you pick someone for me? Yeah. Yeah. Flynn's gonna pick. Okay. How about? Do you like this one? If you have a truck in your bio. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna change it. Do you like this one? I'm gonna do this one. Okay. Colleen Argentina, hashtag cancer back off. Whoa, you like that? Oh, you want to see the picture of Dada in the tutu? <laughs> Her banner is uh, Eric in a tutu. So yeah, I think he's wanted to get on that. Um, you win the Zoom call with me, so Corey's going to reach out. 
Um, yeah, if you guys put tr truck pictures, I'll scroll my Twitter and that'll be the next prize. <laughs> then, he, then he will pick it. Yeah, he will. Let's do, we have Crystal Wolf merch from Joey Graceffa. Do you like these? He's not into those, but we're gonna give them away to one of you. Let's see who it's gonna be, Quinn. Who's it gonna be? I'm looking at my mentions. My phone's gonna go. Okay, let's see, Quinn. Do you see anything you like so far? I don't see any dart arts. <laughs> You're looking for, I know they're not posting trucks. I don't know what to tell you. Let's see if anyone will post a truck for you. I don't see it. Oh, there's a truck. You didn't like that one. What's that? <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> Which one? That one? A big truck? Okay, this person posted a GIF of some big trucks. You like that one? A big truck? Okay. You want that one? Yeah, it's a big truck. Let's see. You were supposed to like car emojis. What else do you, do you see any other ones or did you just like that big truck? Oh. Excavator. <laughs> you like that one? Excavator. Okay, that's from Amanda. Can you can you say thank you, Amanda? Thank you. Okay, so Amanda will get um, Crystal Wolf merch. So this is Amanda. That's pretty cool, huh? Do you have an excavator? Where's your excavator? Can you find one? Or a bulldozer? There's a bulldozer you see more cuddles? You want to look at more pictures? Okay, you can look at more, <laughs> more pictures and more trucks. We have one more kid. Should I read about her? Oh, a trash truck. You found a trash truck. Oh, that's a good one. Do you like that one? Some um, <laughs> Aquaman posted a trash truck. Truck? A truck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's living for the pictures you guys are doing right now. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like that one? Yeah. Yeah. You see lots of trucks. Like that one? He's living for these trucks. Like, Whoa, that's a big one. That's from Dev. You see more you like? We all done. What's that? Yeah. yeah, he's loving all these trucks, guys. Thank you for sending these to him. Okay. <gasps> What's that? A poo poo truck. Oh, poo poo truck. <laughs> oh, poo poo truck. He loves sewage trucks. This is amazing. Say thank you for sending me all these trucks. Okay, all right, we're gonna pick another person. What are we doing now? Let's do the Taylor, or let's do a gift card. This one. Um, how much are on these cards? $50 Nike gift card. $50 Nike gift card. That's a good present, huh, Flynn? So I'm gonna look on the Fundly now. You wanna look at that, Flynn? Okay, let's look. What do you think, Flynn? He's like, where are the trucks? Do you want me to read? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna, of course, gonna read another. All right. This is Andrea. She's 14 years old from Illinois. Andrea was diagnosed with acute um, leukemia in 2018 after receiving a stem cell transplant from her brother and enduring years of treatment. Her cancer sat. Her cancer sat sadly relapsed in March 2020. Shortly after she began treatment again, both her brother and father discovered their own cancer predispositions and had to undergo surgery and treatment at the same time. Andrea's mother is now the sole provider of the family. 
a four and they are facing extreme financial loss. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so again, you're helping whole entire families today. Yeah, this is all the money is going to these families. So thank you so much. Um, all right, let's do Mason Shanks said, I'm 16. I'm grateful for the opportunity to donate. I was diagnosed with ADHD very young, and you make me feel better. Dar Dar's beat cancer is a hashtag she put. Thank you for donating, Mason. And you're going to get a $50 Nike gift card. And Mason's a, I think he's a boy. but Oh, yeah, sorry. Mason's, I apologize. Yeah, I'm seeing your profile. It is boy. Did I say she? No. Sorry. Um, see, if we all put pronouns in our bios, it wouldn't just help the... There's pronouns in my bio. Yeah, it wouldn't just help the bio. trans community. It could help. Well, in, in every community, it, could, it helps us to know who we're talking about because some people have names that could go either way. And a lot of people think Flynn's a girl. When I call and say I'm making an appointment for Flynn, they'll be like, how old is she? Which, I mean, doesn't offend me. I don't care. But I'm just saying, like, you never know. I thought Mason was a girl. It's a boy. I think. And again, I'm assuming. I don't know your pronouns. You want a doo-doo? What do you do? You want a green one? Can you say please? Okay, let's give away. Urban Outfitters gift card. All right, $50 to Urban Outfitters. This is a great gift for someone, or you could buy a gift for someone using this gift card. Um, so let's see who wants it and who's promoting. Let's see. You guys are so wonderful promoting this. I hope my phone doesn't die. Cancer back off. Hashtag cancer back off. Um, also, do you guys have Urban Outfitters everywhere? I wonder if it's just in America. I don't actually know. Do you guys know? Okay. You guys are all so nice. Sometimes people are like, I want that. And then I have to make sure they're actually like promoting or donated or something. <laughs> you guys are fine. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm, I'm reading your things. I always feel I'll bad. I'll read some comments. Things. Luke uh, Port says, donate from the UK. Love what you're doing. And you made quarantine a lot better, even for even over the pond. Aww. Ellie Schmidt says, hi, Colleen, I'm a huge fan and I'm 14. I donated $30 and lost a close friend of mine to cancer when I was 11. I'm donating in his honor. That's so nice. Maddie Vincent says, I donated $50 this year and last year, and you are such an inspiration as a fellow theater kid. I look up to you so much. Thank you. Right now we're at $123,000. Great job, wow, everyone. thanks, guys. You're amazing. Keep it up, keep it up. Um, okay, sorry, go ahead. All right, Caitlin Tanner says, I work in neurosurgery. Thank you for what you do. I love watching your videos and I also fundraise myself. Wow. Thank you so much for everything. All right, uh, this is going to Delaney. Hi. So my mom had cancer when I was 10 and survived. Yay! I'm so happy you guys are doing this. Me and my mom always watch your vlogs now. We donated and watched the concert yesterday. Please donate if you can and share. And her thing is Delaney. I didn't get to finish reading. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. No, Delaney, you don't need no none. I just didn't remember what her last name was. Okay. Let's do another Zoom call. How many have I done? Two? Two, yeah. Let's do another Zoom call, another Zoom call. We can have a Zoom call with your friends. Another Zoom call, another Zoom call. <laughs> Is mommy funny? Okay, a Zoom call. Oh my goodness, you guys are so sweet. Uh, Maybe is, mm, no. <laughs> I know it's hard to 
I know. I don't know. Great job, everyone. 124,000. Almost oh at 125. Can we do it? We still have a lot of great prizes. Yes. We have a an flintlock. iPad, a flintlock, the tutu from Eric. Eric's debut as a ballerina last night. We have a tutu. Um, it's so hard to pick people. I'm like, I hate this part so much. By the way, for your Zoom call, you can choose to just have it be us and it's a private thing. Or you can have it be, um, your, you can invite a couple friends to it. I don't really know how Zoom works, but I think that's how it works. <laughs> like, I think if I send them a link, they can post it for yeah, their friends. But, but, yeah. A cap on it? Yeah, put a cap on it. Okay, we'll figure that out later. We can talk about it if you win. Because I don't want to, like, cause problems. Yeah, you know? I feel like that's good. Um, Hannah Abrashmaz says, Colleen, my mom and I watch you every night and would love to be able to family chat with you on Zoom. We donated $40. Great. Perfect. Hannah. Ooh, Hannah won. Hannah Abrahams. It's hard to explain, but Hannah. you're very beautiful. Very beautiful. Hard That's not hard to explain. explain. She's, yeah, she's gorgeous. What do you mean? She's gorgeous. <laughs> Lovely, gorgeous. You want a Zoom call with me? Let's give away. I ate a tortilla chip and it stabbed the roof of my mouth and that was oh, a lot of pain. Oh, no. This I wanted to give you the server so fast. <laughs> okay. Taylor Swift signed CD. This was sent to us by Alex. Thank you, Alex, to give away today. Signed by the Give it back to Alex. I know. <laughs> he probably would want it. Back. Okay, let's see here. Um, you guys are all just amazing. And I'm just reading all of your things. <clears throat> I think my mouth is bleeding. Your mouth's bleeding? Because I ate a tortilla chip rock and it stabbed me. That's what I get. Stealing the food. Who's stealing my food? You are? I, yeah, oh my God, keep up. I'm sorry, I'm very sleepy. This is the hardest part. I really despise this part of this. And yet you do it every year. I just, I just, I just. Oh. She wants everyone to win. I want everyone yeah. to win. It's very hard. Because I want all the things. This girl's birthday is the same as Taylor Swift's. Ugh, what is her birthday? Sorry, I'm not that big of a stan. I, I am a stan, but. What is oh, anyone's birthday. What is Taylor Swift's birthday? That's a good question. Hey Siri, what is Taylor Swift's birthday? December 13th. December? Oh, oh my God, Sagittarius is shaking. <laughs> Sagittarius. Um, so many people want it. I hate this. It's so hard to pick people. Okay. We have a few more huge donations. Ooh. I just want to give a shout yes, out and please. say a big thank you. Brittany Walters did a thousand dollars. Thank you, Brittany. Oh my Hi. gosh, thank you, Brittany. And her Mimia Watts did a thousand dollars. So thank you. Wow, thank That's you. That's so generous. So much. Thank you. We should give a Zoom call to someone who did a big donation too to say thank you in person. If they want one, they're also like kind of anonymous. So yeah, picture. it's so very, I'm like, do they want a very hot shush? But we, it, we're very appreciative. I mean, the families are very appreciative. This is amazing. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm silent for a minute, guys. Oh, <gasps> we reached 125,000. Yes! You guys are amazing. Thank you. This is crazy. I remember the first year when I, um when I raised, I was trying to raise $5,000 and didn't think I would hit it. And then I think we raised $20,000 my first year and I was bawling because I couldn't believe that many people were donating. It meant so much to me. Um, oh, you guys are so nice. I just want to read all the things. You guys are so nice. How do I pick more than one person? For the same thing. I don't want to pick multiple people. I can hear Flynn saying, I want to go outside. You guys are, how do I pick one person? I'm sorry I'm boring right now. We're just, all of us are working on different things. 
Uh, Emery Walton said, thank you for continuing to make a difference for, our, for an incredible cause. It's always amazing to see how much you do. All right, I'm gonna do this person. Hi, she is Casey. Casey said, hi, I'm a PE and special ed teacher for elementary school students. I donated $11 and watched the live stream yesterday. So this is really important to me as a teacher. I'm also a huge Taylor Swift fan and it would, and I would love a sign thing from her. So this is for Casey. Here's her thing. And let's give away another gift card. How about, oh, we got Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts, $50. $50 to Dunkin' Donuts. That's a lot of coffee, guys. Who wants to get the Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're so wonderful, all of you. Uh, <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Just these comments. I'm a grad student, social worker, and I work with kids in poverty. You're about to change so many lives. This is amazing. My mom is a survivor of cancer three times, so I love to support your fundraiser. I donated last year and this year. As a 12-year-old, I cannot do much, but donated my hair to make wigs <gasps> for kids and watched your show, and I would really love this gift card. That is so card. much. Rania. Okay, Rania. Do you even drink coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a donut? She donated five dollars, and she it says she donated five dollars, and but she said she couldn't donate any money. But it says she donated five dollars, but she donated her hair. Should we give it? I think we should give it to Renia. Okay, Renia. Renia. It looks like Renia. I'm really bad at pronouncing. These. One or two? Oh, them. Okay, cute. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Starbucks. What else do we have here? We have my lipsticks with oh pillow pets. The penguin pillow pet. Let's do the penguin pillow pet. And um, we'll do my lipsticks too. My lipsticks, Gorgina. So we're doing the pillow pet. And, and lipsticks. Mm -hmm. Also, I just wanna say, if you are winning a prize through Funly today and you're watching right now, make sure you check your email because it's gonna be kind of wonky. You might get an email from Funly, you might be getting an email from Childhood cancer, Colleen. Um, but yeah, just look through your emails and get back to me as soon as possible. Um, all right, so the penguin's going to Steph. Steph loves Broadway. Um, she's a fellow theater kid. And she said she wants the penguin. And she's been promoting and <laughs> promoting the link. So like I've said multiple times, if you're just joining, you can win a prize by donating or just spreading the word and spreading awareness or by doing... Um, anything that can help a kid with cancer is gets you to win a prize. So like we just gave away a uh, prize to a girl who donated her hair earlier this year. Um, we give away prizes to people who are tweeting the link to the fundraiser. Uh, we give away prizes to people who are donating money, all types of things. So here we go. Um, we've got... Who would they went to? Oh, that was Steph. Steph that was Broadway. my... Oh, it's right here. Steph loves brothers. Sorry. Rachel Ballinger, $1,000! Did I win a Zoom call? Rachel, oh my gosh, you're so rich. That is so much money. Thank you so much. My family's so nice. I only did it to win a prize. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. You win a Zoom call with me. Yes. Um, did we do this person? I don't think we did. Let me just look at this person. Oh, she seems so nice. Should we do a Zoom call? She wants one? I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to tell if like. I don't know what to do. Okay, let's do, what do I have? Oh, a Starbucks gift card. Who's thirsty? <laughs> um, this is $50. $50. Colleen, is it $50? $50 oh. too. I'm looking on the funly right now. Um. Oh, thank you for grabbing that hair off my arm, Corey. <laughs> you guys are just cracking jokes in here. Oh my gosh, Kate Gillikin. 
I was born with, I'm going to say this wrong. I was born with Langerhans histiocytosis, a rare cancer with a really slim chance of life. I'm 16 now. Donated $200 earlier. Yay, Starbucks. So Kate, we're going to send you the gift card. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, low battery. Oh, no. Mayday. What? My phone. Oh. Um, I wonder, I have a cord. On, I have a charger in that, on the big computer. Um, that I can plug into my computer. Okay, let's give away another pillow pet. Be thankful. Be thankful for Beatrice the Bee. This is Beatrice the Bee, and she comes with my lipsticks. Beatrice the Bee. Oh my gosh. I'm just like laughing at things I'm reading silently. I'm sorry, that's so obnoxious. That's what it's like hanging out with Colleen, by the way. That's not true. I tell you <laughs> what I'm laugh laughing at, at and I show you. Yes, <laughs> but it'll be silent in the room, and then you just giggle at your phone. I know. Um, okay, so Rosie is desperate for a pillow pet, so I will give one to Rosie. Rosie? Rosie. She's like begging. I wonder why people aren't crazy about the panda. I mean, We're, the favorite. panda is coming. I know, but like they wanted the penguin, but what about the panda? I don't know. Okay, so Rosie, thank you so much. Jessica, Jessica's CMB. Yes, she is. And her pinned tweet says, Rachel, just Rachel. Oh, that's me. That's, I tweeted that, but it is pinned. <laughs> Why is that pinned? I tweeted that. So she gets this. And the, oh, stick it in that crevice. There you go. Eric's stressing about oh, wait, Caitlin, it was, was it not in the back of the computer? That one has the same thing. Oh, yeah, that would make sense, huh? Well, I have one of those upstairs. Well, this computer has those, a USB. Do you want to stick it in that computer? Yeah. That's this. Okay. What else we got? We got... Oh, an, you got a Flynn drawing, a Panda Pet, and then one other thing in the other room. And an iPad. Oh. And um, another thing I'm doing... Is your merch. Trust. Oh, my oh, merch. Wow. I forgot my merch. Oh, my God. What okay. the heck? Wait, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I said don't trust, so it shouldn't. Finish. Don't trust. Don't trust my phone, computer. <gasps> 130,000. <gasps> this is the best birthday present I could ever receive, you guys. This is amazing. Okay. The next thing, oh, my merch. So if you want my new merch, I'll show you pictures of it. Actually, I love the new merch. So this oh, is cute. Theater Kid. It's like bubblegum cute colors. This is No Sleep Club. This is the new California hoodie. This one's limited edition. It's not gonna be around long. And then, hello. This is the Miranda sweatshirt and the Miranda sweatpants and my notebook. And so this is how this is gonna work. This one's kind of a fun interactive. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to pick a winner on Twitter and Corey will DM you and say, I need your address, your size, and one item that you want. Your so you shipping get address. So you can your say shipping, shipping address. address. Yeah, I noticed if you say that, I don't get as freaked out. <laughs> oh, okay, your shipping address um, and your size and which item you want. So you actually have to pick which one of those you want if you win this one. So, fun. The most expensive. I don't even know which one's the most expensive. I do, I bought them. Why did you buy them? I was like, sister's house, what a sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's see who we're gonna win to win it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm, it's very hard to read and also entertain you guys at the same time. So in the mean, while I'm picking someone, how about we, what? There's Taco Bell. <laughs> it is now a mukbang, everybody. It's a mukbang. Uh, I, uh, oh no, 
Oh no. This is, I'm reading people's stories and it's so hard to like, oh gosh. I just can't pick anyone. This is, I hate this. I'm sorry this whole live stream is just me complaining about how hard it is to pick people. <laughs> I'll read some, um, yeah, read some things. Read some comments. Jody Simmons says, I'm 17 and I'm donating some of my money on behalf of my mom, who is my rock, and she's a cancer survivor. Oh, yay. She's a survivor. Uh, la, la, la. Let me refresh. <laughs> I lost my grandma to cancer too. It was very awful. And awful, awful, awful. Um, my grandma had breast cancer and it also spread. I think she ended up getting bone cancer too. And um, do you remember what other types? Dad would know. I don't know what, what happened. What types of cancer? grandma ended well, up having it well uh, it started as breast cancer mm -hmm. and then it um ovarian she got a hysterectomy where's um mom you remember come here it started as breast cancer she got bone i remember her getting bone cancer too i thought it was a bladder cancer bladder cancer, can bladder cancer. Being, bladder cancer and she died of breast cancer yes um but I know she had, I remember her, it became, it was like everything. Like the cancer just took over everything in her whole body. That's what it does. Yeah. Um, and it was awful because she beat it. And she came to uh, Disneyland. I was working at Disneyland at the time. And she came and saw me perform at Disneyland. Thanks, love. Ooh, gourmet on a plate. Taco Bell on a plate. This always feels fancy when this happens. She was wrong. Um, she came and watched me perform. She was cancer free. And then I went to tour Australia for the first time. And um, right before I left, the day before I left for Australia, my dad called me and said her cancer came back. And I said, oh, do I need to come be with family? He's like, no, she'll be fine. Like, don't worry about it. And I left for three weeks and she passed away while I was in Australia. And it was one of the hardest moments of my life because I couldn't be with family. I was literally on the other side of the world and just <laughs> sobbing alone. I was with my friend Christina, so I was grateful for that. Um, but it was, it was really, really awful. Um, cancer is horrible. Okay. So I'm going to pick a couple people for this. Um, so here we have Emily in CMB. She said, I'd love to win the notebook. My best friend had her last day of chemo three weeks ago, so it really hits home. Thank you for doing this. I went to the show yesterday. So you'll DM her. So Corey's going to DM you and you'll tell him the, the size, one item. the one item you want and the size that you are and your shipping address. And I'm going to eat a taco. Mmm. Delicious. Another person for this. Oh, holy smokes. 131. 131. Thank you guys so much. Mm. Okay. This person, Ashlyn, said, I love your merch. I've been a fan for over seven years. I used to strictly speak in Miranda's voice and would annoy my family and friends. I could only donate $100, but I'm glad to help a little. That's a lot. Thank you so much. So we'll DM you and get your size and which item you want. And have Fanjoy send it to you. Okay. What else do we have? We have that cleanse thing and the iPad and the thing in the other room. Uh, I, I could bring it out. I just didn't want to. I'll bring it. I didn't want people to stress about it too much for that long of a time. Mm hmm. So there's only a few prizes left. And then I'm gonna tell you how much we raised yesterday. So the next one will be the pillow pack. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I was so hungry, guys. 
and my lipsticks, which we don't have out right now, but we'll get a couple more. Um, okay. Hello, Pat. What is that, a panda? Mm-hmm. Let's see. I'm friendly. Oh my goodness. Um, can you hear me? Yes, sure. It's Michaela Mueller says I'm 14 <laughs> and I donated as much as I could. I hope I made my grandparents proud up in the heavens since they passed away from cancer. Oh, that's awful. And I love your merch. Oh. Oh, amazing. Okay. So we're going to do a page already. Okay. Um, Romy said, Romy wants the panda pillow. And she actually made a picture oh, of herself with the panda. And she said, this is my first year donating. I'm so excited to finally be able to donate to this wonderful fundraiser. I'm a soldier and I would love to win the panda pillow for the hard nights. Um, please, I'll let you name it. What should we name it? That's a big oh! pressure. Okay. Here's Info. <gasps> what? Her at is Dawn's turtle pin. <laughs> oh my That's gosh. Cute. I loved that turtle pin. Um, so when I was in waitress, hold on, I need to make sure I'm I think I'm following her, but maybe not. I'm not. How rude. Um so I when I was in waitress, the character my character Dawn. You want to name the, the panda Don? What do you yeah, Don! Okay. Or turtle! Okay, name the panda turtle. The Who panda needs pin. turtles? Who needs turtles? Um, so I had a panda pin, or a turtle pin, and when I actually, when I went into the show, <laughs> the girl who was doing it before me, Caitlin, she's incredibly talented. She'd been playing Don, and then she came and played Don right after me. I was only there for a month. Um, She'd been doing it for years and she's incredible and so talented and so amazing and fully smokes. I just think she's incredible. She was so sweet and I feel like she so easily could have been like, this is so annoying that I have to like leave my job that I love for a month so that this like YouTuber person can come in and do the role. She could have easily like had that kind of an attitude. Um, but she was so nice to me and so sweet. And she, my opening night, like left me a gift. She wrote me a card and left me a little tiny turtle um, like little like marble thing, like a little turtle statue thingy <laughs> figurine um, that I still have. It's in my closet now. And I kept it on my dressing room table for the, my entire run. I just thought that was so sweet because she so easily could have just been like, this is so annoying or not said anything or done anything to me. Um, so now, but turtles always will make me think of playing that part. This is this, I'm using the board. I'm oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I got that yesterday at the parade thing. Okay. Alrighty, so I know, but I'm trying to think like, you don't yeah, I think it's fine. Um, that in the yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so what else we have? We have Flynn saying, I want Flynn to pick it, so I'll wait till he's not. I want him to have fun. I don't want to take him away from Eric's tutu. And Tiara. And Tiara. Eric wore this in the live stream yesterday and broke the internet, and he was trending. And <laughs> we need to put that on again today. You know? Oh, it stinks. It stinks really bad. So just a warning, it doesn't stink because of us. When we bought it, it smelled like this. I think it must be like the glue to make the ruffles. I don't yeah. know. It's very weird. It smells like fishy nastiness. It's not a good scent. But we're going to refilm that dance to upload to YouTube. So you do have to wear it one more time. <laughs> yes. So, um. Well, I'm finding out you're finding about it right now. Oh my gosh, guys, we're almost at $135,000. What? We're at 134405 oh, I am so Can impressed with it? you guys. I think you're so incredible. So, um, Last year, Eric, I think you should have to pick someone. Yes. So look through the hashtag. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a good one. There's a hashtag, cancer yeah. back off. And just look for someone who you think would actually want it. Because if you just pick random, like a sweet woman named Deborah who just donated ten dollars in honor of someone she knows, she might be very confused to receive that too. Too. So. Oh. Oh my gosh. Jonathan just donated twenty five hundred dollars. It's so nice. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. 
such a sweetie. Thank you so freaking much. Alyssa D donated $500. I wish I could make this go down so I could see the other top yeah, ones. Yeah, I know. You guys are just going crazy. The donations. I know. Oh, here. I can oh, see more. Okay. So I'm going to just talk about some of the bigger donations we've gotten. Jennifer Homan donated $396. Jillian, $450. Um, Michelle Schumann, $434. Sarah Mon Mae. Sarah Mae, yes, yeah, she, she donated $500. Sydney Camp, $400. Chelsea Schoenbeck, $330. Michelle Woods, $450. I'm shocked at these large donations. Um, Kevin Kennelly, $271. Sean Patrick Boland, and there's a, his profile picture is us in the boat on stage, $250. <gasps> oh, that's great. Oh my gosh, Caitlin Leach, $250. Amy Borland, $250. You guys, this is just incredible. Thank you so much. Gina Russelli, Rus 235. Um, I can't believe. There's a lot of anonymous donations, which is so kind as well. Amanda Jones. I thought it said Amanda Jarris. So I was like, oh, my God. Hey, girl. Uh, Amanda Jones, $200. Stacey Thompson, 187 This is so kind. Natasha, 150 Veronica Long, 115 um, You guys, this is so kind. Thank you so freaking much for these sweet, Generous, generous donations. It's all going to a really good cause. Um, 135. We had 135. Thank you so much. This is so wonderful. It's overwhelming. I know. This is what I've been saying. It's so hard. No, you have to pick it. You're refreshed. You gotta. In your mentions. Okay. Eric Stockman is using Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big deal with this. <laughs> what the That's so scary. Goodbye. Bye. Um, they're all losing their minds. I know. Isn't it so oh, stressful? So you just have to go see. I don't know. How... You have to do it, love. I've been doing this for two hours. You can two and a half hours. You got to pick one for do it for me. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and... Lovey! No, no, you can't do that. <laughs> do it, you gotta make sure it's someone who sure really wants it. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Still. Mm. Anna said, I watched the show yesterday and I donated $20. My best friend's aunt died from cancer. It was so hard for her. I would love to zoom. Queen, I'm 14. I'm donating my last three months of chore money. Ah, thank, <laughs> thank you, Thank you Samantha. so much, Samantha. Um, I've donated multiple times and watched a Christmas concert. Not that I expect to get anything, but I would die for a Zoom call. Uh, thank you for using your platform to spread awareness. This is from Grace. You donated $50. I'm 16. I've been watching you since I was 10. Thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for such a generous donation. I love that I'm doing this holding a burrito. <laughs> just so like seems so weird that's so accurate i know um uh, oh yeah i could do the ipad did we pick a tutu winner he's working on it the next prize while well, he's picking a tutu winner so keep sending him tutu request is that uh ipad yeah he did oh. it uh-oh ladies and gentlemen it's happening he twitter. twitter julia butter but uh butter carp Binter. Thank you for sharing the links. I want the stinky tutu. The dance was my favorite part of the stream yesterday. I promise I will cherish it with all my heart and take great care of it and maybe even dance in it too. So you posted this yesterday and I remember seeing this yesterday. It was so funny. You can hear, I know. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I, people were adding me their, their, um, TikToks, they were literally screaming like they saw Harry Styles every time Eric came on screen. <laughs> That's how I was crying laughing. I haven't I seen those. A few those yeah. Like, a TikTok? Like, yeah. I didn't see it. Well, they added me. Okay. How do you see if someone adds you on TikTok? You have to oh, I get notifications. Oh, okay. You might have <laughs> too many notifications. You're famous. Uh-uh. Uh, what's next? The iPad? Mm. Or the Flynn drawing? How many Zoom calls have I done? Three. Plus me. Hmm. Rachel said a Zoom call. Hmm. Mm. You guys are so cute. Thingy, Corey, I like your little 
I don't well, recall. They make them in the night. I know he. Sorry, I'm supposed to be wearing a gold ribbon. He made it for me, and I forgot to put it on because the gold yeah, ribbon yeah, is for. Yeah, it's kind of hard to put on. <clears throat> sorry, I forgot to put this on, guys. How rude! But the gold ribbon, we make, uh, had Corey make these really quickly before. This represents like your support for childhood cancer. That's what the gold ribbon is for. Okay. We did what we could. Um, let me see. We're at 135,000. You guys, this is incredible. What are we doing? iPad? Mm, oh, yeah. Or we got to do, the, say we gotta do the iPad. iPad. So get ready for the iPad, y'all. Okay. Donate, donate, spread the word. You don't have it physically? No. Okay. I'm going to ship it to them. Perfect. I don't know anything else. Um, I'm just going to read some comments. My close friend passed from cancer this year. That's awful. I'm so sorry. I appreciate that you're doing this so much. Thank you. I'm 14, 14 donated what I could. Um, I'm so glad you are doing this. I also want to thank you for all your vlogs. I watch them every night. They always cheer me up. That's from Sophie. She donated $20. Um, okay. Uh, I love you. I'm 16. I don't have money. I spread the word on Instagram. I love you. Your story is so sad. My grandma had breast cancer as well. Hope you can donate a lot today. Oh my gosh, Sylvia said, I ran into you, Corey and Frank, at the Citadel when I was 12, and you made awkward <gasps> little me feel so pretty and special. I remember oh. that we went to see Ariana sing yeah. at the tree lighting. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Mm -hmm. And we wore like mustaches for some reason. Yeah, we are so weird. <laughs> you were in disguise. No, it was like. No, it wasn't. I think I found a quarter machine or a dollar store. So oh, that would make sense. Bought no, mustaches for us to wear. I don't remember what I was doing. Um, you guys are so sweet. Uh, oh my God, there's beans dripping all over me. This is a mess. Somebody wants to win me? Hmm? I'm scared. I'll enter for that contest. <laughs> this person said I'd love to win Corey, but would settle for an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm a 13 year old theater kid who would love to Zoom with you. Watch a show and donated. My dad has a rare cancer. He's going to call and make my whole year. I'm so sorry, Jessica. That's awful. Um, I'm so sorry. This is horrible. I'll, let's do a Zoom call with Jessica. Sweet. Jessica Reed. giving away a Zoom call right now? Yeah, I just did. I thought we were giving away an iPad. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I love you. I'm eating a burrito. You guys are incredible. I can't believe this. Okay. We're getting close to the end, guys. So we're doing an iPad. This is a big one. I'm scared. <laughs> Melody said, Queen eating her burrito is stressing me out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so hungry. Woo. I feel bad for the people who like, I feel like oftentimes I'll see people record me like saying hi to them or talking about them. <laughs> and they'll be like mouthful. something they'll be like sending to me that's like, hey, Caitlin or whatever. And anyone who I've talked about with a breed, I'll be like, uh, Melody says hi. <laughs> We're at $137,000, almost at 140. Can we do it? How many prizes we have left with just the iPad? Is that the last thing? Mm, and no. the Flynn, the Flynn drawing. And Mr. Flynn. And I have to announce how much we made yesterday. And what? I'm dying to know. I have to announce how much we made yesterday to add oh, to this. Oh, that's a fiction. Okay, you guys, I feel so much better now that I've eaten. Okay. Look at this cute. <laughs> Kennedy. Kind of merch that I got for my birthday. My birthday is the day right after yours, so we are basically one of the same. And I'm right. I have your posters. I'm such a huge fan. I'm so honored to be your fan, and I'm so proud. Oh my God, we are birthday buddies. Also, I'm Kennedy from the Kennedy Center. You may not remember. I remember you, Kennedy. I'm Kennedy from the Kennedy Center when you did your Netflix show and you couldn't remember the lyrics to um, where my bae's at and I helped you in the background. I was very pregnant. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
Um, but I'm so proud of you. Thank you for doing this. I will be donating every year that I can. And um, yeah, have fun doing this. This is great. You're and so your nice. Connection is good. You're doing good. <laughs> I'm obsessed with her. I love you, Kennedy. Of course I remember you. That was such an iconic moment. I couldn't believe I was talking to Kennedy at the Kennedy, Kennedy Center. Center. And I can't believe I forgot that. I was so pregnant. I was such yeah, I was a mess that day. when we did the pregnant thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, was it? Remember? Yes, it was. Yeah, you were pregnant yeah. for the Netflix shooting. Remember when we Khalid did the whole show pregnant and they're like, all right, do it again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could not believe how you did that. That was crazy. She fell asleep on the stage. Yeah. With my eyes open. Yeah. I remember, I wish I had that footage because I wish I could release that footage. When we filmed my Netflix special, after I, I did two shows and two meet and greets that day, really pregnant. I was in agonizing pain yeah, because my pelvic bone, my pelvic bone had like, it was a mess. I was, I could barely walk. I was in so much pain. I was in a wheelchair after that. Um, it was horrible. And we had a chiropractor that we met in the audience. Like we found a chiropractor at the show to come backstage to adjust me. It was crazy because um, I couldn't walk. And so after the shows were done, they're like, so we need you to redo basically the whole show again right now. So after the two shows and the two meet and greets, I had to redo the entire show for an hour. And I was so tired and I was in so much pain. I had to keep sitting down. And I, at one point I was like talking and I was just like, so... Oh, I just fell asleep with my eyes open. Like I'm literally on stage, like I just forgot what I was doing. Do you remember that? That was crazy. Okay, I'm just going to. I love that dress. <laughs> the that one I wore at the Kennedy Center. The crushed velvet. It was like twenty dollars. I know. What? Yeah. They were so nice. They are. Um, I think they live in Florida. Yeah. They like in Florida. Um. Let's see. Oh, it's so hard to pick, guys. I love you all so much. Um, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I love reading all these things. I'm just gonna read things. I'm not picking someone yet. I'm just reading them out loud. Hi, Colleen, my name is Sarah Jessica. I was diagnosed with cancer when I was nine months old and I survived. Now I'm 11 years cancer free. I'm 13 years old now. I donated $10.09. And would love to have one of the Zoom calls or the merch or the iPad. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Ali says, my dad, my two uncles, and my aunt have all suffered and some beat cancer. Thank you, Queen, for doing this. Savannah said, I'm 13. I'm a huge fan. I donated $30. You're such an inspiration. I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety several years ago, and you've helped me so much. Um, I'd be eternally grateful to win anything, but I'm just happy to donate. Bella said, I was at the concert, I can't donate, but you did do donate by being at the concert. My granddad rec recently died of cancer. I can't imagine it for a child, so that's why I wanna help. I want to become a child nurse because of you. I love you guys, it would be cool to win an iPad. Um, you guys are amazing. I'm just trying to like- Why does it smell like hot glue? It's, the, it's, it's probably that skirt, have you smelled? Did we give away the skirt? We did. Yeah, we did. No, it smells straight up like, like the hot glue gun got, was gone was left off. Hmm, it wasn't. That's um, oh, I, I don't know. This is a very difficult decision. I love reading all these stories, though. You guys are amazing. Um, just, you know, other incredible people that I want to just acknowledge that um, we've lost to cancer or who are still fighting cancer and who are awesome. Um, uh, three years, two years ago. Oh, shoot. I don't remember if it was two or three. Might have been two. I think it was two, um, maybe three. <laughs> I met an amazing girl named Kayla on my birthday at the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles, which is another place we're donating the money. Um, she's incredible, and um, I stayed in touch with her and her family and her mom, and um, unfortunately, she passed away from cancer. Uh, I think she was 14 when she died, and uh, I had the wonderful opportunity to be able to sing at her funeral and get to know her mother, who's incredible and so strong, but... Um, you know, one of the many people I learned a lot from about what that these families have to go through. I mean, one of the things she talked about when I met them was just how every time she went to the hospital, they had to pay for parking. And it was like $100 a month or something to park at the hospital. So just to go get treatments, they have to pay like $100 a month just to park their car there for their kid to get treatments. So little things like that, you know, you just don't think about and these people have to deal with. Um, even after these kids pass, there are so many bills that 
they have to pay for. And that's another thing Family Reach does and that we have done in the past. They send me lists of things that we've helped with. And one of the things is we paid for funerals because after the kid passes away, sometimes the families don't have any money left. They've emptied their entire bank accounts trying to save their child. And then once their child goes, then they have to try to pay for a funeral and they can't afford it. We've paid for funerals for these kids. We've paid for their medical care, paid for their rent. I've had one girl I met, um, her mom, she came to a show with her mom in Pensacola, Florida. And um, her mom just cried and said, tell your followers, thank you so much. You paid for our mortgage for three months and you saved our house. We were going to lose our house. And because your fans paid for our mortgage for three months, it saved our house. So you, these donations go so far. You have no idea how much they help. Um, there are other people, a wonderful girl named Natalie, who I got to know and love so dearly. She passed away from cancer um, a few years ago, and it was devastating. Um, uh, we have, obviously, I've talked about Sky. Um, there are so many people. I, then there's also people who are awesome and who have been battling and living with cancer for so long and are crushing it and, and beating it, like um, Kylie of I talked with her last year in my live stream or in my uh, video promoting and she told her story and she since then has gone through chemo again um, because the cancer did come back. And so she's fighting that right now. And I think, Mia. Um, hmm? Mia. and Mia, of course. Yeah. Who was in my video this year who um, she's 12 and she got cancer when she was six and they got rid of it and then it came back and she had to go through cancer. And this year is so important that we raise so much money because these kids now are also going through these, this horrible disease, but also COVID. So they're in the hospital. I talked with me about this, um, but I didn't talk about it for too long with her in the video, but some of the stuff I edited out was her talking about what she has to go through. Cause she has to go to the hospital so often to get her treatments, even though she's cancer free, um, she still has to go and get her chemo treatments all the time and there's still so many things that have to happen just to make sure the cancer stays gone and every time she goes to the hospital for treatments she has to get a covid test which is the swab all the way up she's like i had to get the really deep one it's awful and like she has and she's 12 like to have to have the like horrible covid test that basically scrapes your brain um every single time she goes in there and she can't have visitors so when she was in the hospital at the beginning of this quarantine that's when i first uh had a zoom call with her and got to know her she couldn't only have one family member at a time so she couldn't ever have both parents there with her her siblings um so these are all things that have just made it so much harder for these kids with cancer the parents you know in a lot of hospitals there's so many restrictions because they're high risk um and so you know to already have to struggle with cancer and then on top of it have to deal with all the restrictions of covid and not have your family be with you even tia who i facetimed earlier in this live stream she's been going through it this year in and out of the hospital and she can't see her kids her kids she has five kids and they can't visit her in the hospital and um i just think that sounds so <laughs> miserable i cannot imagine so um I know I've been talking a long time and I'm giving away an iPad right now and you guys are probably thinking about that, but I just want to let you know that these donations are going really far. We're at 139,000. So oh my gosh. That is so much money. You guys. That's a down payment on a house in California. Literally. That's a house in most places. That's a house. Um, a Tesla. <laughs> a Tesla. I don't even know how much those are. Okay. This is a difficult experience. Mitch, are you seeing any stories you'd like to share? Well, I've seen a lot of people that are like, should totally get it, but there's like a million of them. I know, that's the hard there's thing. There's healthcare workers, there's kids that are studying to be like, just great people. There's so many, there's some people that need it for different reasons. I know. Um, you see, and what do you see? I'm seeing so many, it's so I, hard. I mean, there's a million. They all, they, I want to buy iPads for everyone, but I mm -hmm. uh, Oh my gosh. I don't know, I, it's just it's very difficult, you guys. Um, please donate, thank you if you're asking people to donate. Hi, hi, Colleen. My grandma's a cancer survivor. I call her every day now. That's amazing. 
supporting you from the Netherlands. Thank you so much, uh, Mace, for supporting us from the Netherlands. We hit 140,000. That's amazing. Thank Everyone, you thank so you. much. That's crazy. You're incredible. Thank you so much. I think last year, what did we end on? I don't know. 147. 147. We ended on that? Or is that what it's at now? That's what it's at now. Because I don't know that we ended no, no, on that. No, no, we didn't end on that. It just kept because growing. It, I think after we ended on like the last year, people can still donate. This uh, will be up, you know. You can keep donating. Still after, and you can keep donating, keep sharing. But I think it, um, yeah, it wasn't that, but I think we surpassed last year, hopefully. Is yesterday? Mm -hmm. Not yet. They don't Not know yet. about that. Yet. Yet. Oh, oh, He's got to show you this. Oh, oh wow, show baby, everyone. what you got? Oh, my goodness. That is so cool, Flynn. What is that? Can you tell me what it is? A dump truck. What color is it? What color is it? It's a dump truck. Do you see what color it is? What color is it? Oh, yes. I'm just saying it's a dump truck. Yeah, look, that's a dump truck and that's a dump truck. That's from Emma. Say thank you, Emma. Yeah, yeah that's a dump truck. It's the baby's dump truck. It's the baby's dump truck. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, do you see any, Rachel, do you see any? I don't know who to give it to. I don't know that I can pick this one. <laughs> Yeah, it's a dump a truck. A dump truck. You want to come look at dump trucks with me? You're... Um, a dump yeah. Dump you got a dump Here. truck. I'll show you. I don't know. Rachel, help me pick someone. You said you saw... I like... saw people, but I couldn't decide. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm showing your son dump trucks. Leave me alone. Oh, you oh. guys, this is a difficult decision. Cool. No, so many people say they really need an iPad, and I'm just like, well, how do I give everyone one? I don't know how to give everyone an iPad. Um, oh, thank you. This person, Valerie, said she donated 12 inches of her hair a couple years ago. Thank you for doing that. Um, oh. Let's see. Oh, this is amazing. Emily says she's a huge childhood cancer advocate. I'm starting a nonprofit to send care packages to kids with cancer. That's so amazing. Thank you. You guys are blowing my mind with 140,000. It's amazing. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna pick someone because I, I just love you all and it's too hard. I'm gonna pick this uh, woman named Sarah D. She said, as a special ed teacher and sign language interpreter. I was gonna pick her earlier, I read her. I work with vulnerable children and appreciate everything you do. My students even watch Miranda. An iPad would really help my class. So I'm gonna give it to you, Sarah. My brother was born hard of hearing and we worked with interpreters my entire life. They were at every function, every church, every, every Sunday at church, every, Anything we did, we had to have um, something with interpreters there for my brother. So I appreciate people like you so much. Um, Sarah D. 77. And then we have to give away Flynn's beautiful drawing. Yeah, you see that truck? So look, uh, Corey's going to be messaging you. Okay, so now we have this. So you guys start sending us some dump trucks, trash trucks, whatever, because Flynn's going to pick the person who wins this. Ooh. This is his beautiful drawing and his beautiful little photo. And I'll give away one more Zoom call after this. <gasps> one last Zoom. One last Zoom. Okay, Flynn, come here, baby. Will you help me pick someone? So do you remember when you drew this? Oh, sorry, Corey. Yeah, no, yeah you want to yeah, see dump Corey. trucks? Or are you going to show Corey your dump truck? Your mommy has pictures of truck on her phone. You want to see the pictures of trucks? <laughs> yeah, what do you see? You got dirt all over your face. Don't Sorry. touch those. Those are pins. Ouch, ouch. Um, Flint, what's that? A bulldozer. A trash truck. What else do you see? 
big dump truck. A big dump truck. That's right. Is your vlog up today? Uh, not up yet. Okay. It's, it's uploading. I gotta go edit mine. Okay, we're almost done. What do you see? You guys should watch the vlog today. Flynn tells a cool story. He does. About a trash truck you need to watch. What do you think, Flynn? Excavator? He calls it, he says, etete for excavator. Etete? All right, there we go. You gotta, you gotta pick one, Flynn. You don't like that one? Just scroll until he goes. <gasps> What's that? <laughs> He's driving. Not interested. He's like kind of interested, but gotta keep going. When you're picking someone to win this drawing that you did. Is that a truck? That's a dump truck, yeah. So do you want to pick that one or? Ooh. Oh, my God. What's that? Dump truck. Mm, that's not a dump truck, but okay. The roots. You gotta pick one. They're waiting. Yellow and red. Yellow and red. That's right. Did you shove on the floor? Uh, yeah, I do. The murder truck. The murder truck. Is that the one? Is okay, that not the biggest reaction? Uh, okay, then that's the one it's going to. Monster truck is from. Almond. Almond. <laughs> Hi, Flynn and Clean. It says, I would laminate and frame Flynn's artwork and hang it in my future music classroom. He brightens my days almost as much as your vlogs do. And I've adopted his speaking patterns because he's just the sweetest. Thank you for being the best. Pants are back off. Thank you so much. Um, that's from Sleep Walk Living. So here's his name. There you go. You won. And that's so sweet. I hope you do laminate and frame it because it's so special. It's so cute. Okay. Oh, Rachel. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm checking. Ooh, 141. Yay. I'm picking a final zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom. A supernova girl. Uh, Xenon, girl. In the 21st century. Make my heart go Zoom, zoom, zoom. May I go boom, boom, my supernova girl. Oh, my little Flynn. What happened to Xenon? I don't know. Girl of the 21st century. Stop being the 21st century. Disney Plus, can you make another one? Yeah, let's make another one. With the same, I don't like when they recast. Yeah, let's no, the, the same, same cast. Same girl. Um... <laughs> What else? Uh, you know what? The shows aren't as good yeah. as they were when I was a kid. Lizzie McGuire? That was it. I love Lizzie. Lizzie McGuire is amazing. But and I have to I'm looking at the fun way. <laughs> oh, no. And even Stevens. <gasps> yes, Shia LaBeouf. Mm -hmm. Iconic. Um, and what else was on when we were kids? <laughs> What, even Stevens? That's mm -hmm. so Raven. That's so Raven. It's the future. I what? See. I like the Rugrats. Oh. I Rachel watching. like Power Rangers. I swear, uh, oh, Barney. Barney. Uh, Rachel loves Barney. Power Rangers, Barney. <laughs> okay, let me just... Should I look for like a... I, don't know. I hate this part, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, the sun is like setting on my eyeballs right now. Okay. I'm looking for. What are you for... giving away? A Zoom thing? Yeah, the final Zoom. And then I'm going to tell you how much we raised. Oh, yeah. And then, and then we get to know how much we made at the show yesterday. Do you know? I know. Oh, my God, the secrets. So many secrets. Wow. Uh, oh, so amazing. You guys are amazing. Is in my truck. Here. Oh, oh. Happy yeah, holidays. Here. Um, Happy holidays. Merry um, Merry Happy holidays, holidays to you. How am I supposed to pick someone? I just want to pick, like, literally everyone. I don't know how to do this. Because everyone's yeah. being so sweet. Thank you to everyone who came to the show last night. Yes. That was 
We had so much fun. We I had hope so much I hope freaking fun. I you guys had fun too. I want to do it blast. again. Yeah, let's do it again. I don't think I'm like I don't think people would watch if it wasn't for charity, but I kind of don't care because it was so fun. I'll just do it again for funsies. You couldn't were talking about like we learned all of that the entire show, and then we're never gonna do it again. <laughs> no, it's so sad. Like, they had, like props and stuff. It was so fun. Um, this is so hard to pick a person. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry, guys, this is taking so long. I, I'm so appreciative of your patience right now. It's just really hard to pick someone because you're all so sweet and you're all, I just want to help. I just want to give everyone a prize. So I'm just like, um, everyone's like, I want it. I want the Zoom. I want the Zoom. I'm like, how am I supposed to be? How am I supposed to See, even Flynn's upset about it. Even Flynn doesn't know how to pick someone. Even Flynn is like, how are we supposed to pick someone? This is so small. You get a bonka bonk, Flynn. Uh, booty bonk. Booty bonk. He got a booty bonk? Oh, no. Um, I'm apologize times a million. Love, will you tell a story? Come here. Come tell a story. I've seen that. Let me just look at this. Who wants a Zoom? So right now we're looking for a winner for the Zoom. Let's see how much money we're at for donations. We are at 141,000 or 141,872,000. Oh, yes. That's pretty good, y'all. No, I like want to do it. I want to yeah, give it to everybody. It's like so hard. Also, please don't come for Colleen for the winners. <laughs> Sometimes people get mad. And it's just like, let's just be happy we raised $141,000 for families and kids. I know. It's it's hard giving away um, prizes sometimes because I like I feel bad when I accept people. That's why I think that's why it's so hard for me to pick people is because I'm like, I know I'm going to make other people upset who I don't pick. So that's why this is very, very difficult for me. It goes to 40 shoulders, so I must have come to here. Um, but yeah, I think she's she's great. Let's we can do her. I just oh, I lost her. I'm sure I'll find her. They're all great. It's just so hard to pick because, like, I know it's gonna make people sad. Oh, I saw her in a minute. I know, I did too. Well, I can't let you guess school. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah. Mm, okay. I know, I'm getting scared. Do it. Find someone that you No, she's she's about. great. I've seen her a lot. She's she's amazing. Okay. We're gonna do Hannah Cook. I feel like we've said her name before in life. Did I already give her one? No, not today. I didn't oh. like. Um, yeah, like maybe like last year's hundred. She said, I would love to do Zoom with you. My dad battled cancer in January. It's terrifying. I can't imagine what it's like for the kids. Thanks for doing this. And this is a picture of her and her dad. And so we'll Zoom and we'll chat. So you're going to get a message from Corey. So that is that. I'm going to refresh the phone and see how much we made. 142,000, y'all. All right, so now I'm going to look at, I'm going to finally get the updated number from my peoples. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I have to add it to this. 42. Oh, oh, six. Did it go up? Let's see. Let's see if it went up. 142. Okay, so I'm just going to do 142. 142. That's an insane amount of money, 142. I'm so excited. And then. It's like winning a game. <gasps> okay. So yesterday at the concert, 
we got $81,000 for the concert. So, yay! So, if you add that to the $142,000, that's $223,000. That's your best year yet! That is dollars. crazy. That's million. almost a quarter of a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Just by like just us in our living room. I mean, people do fundraisers all the time, like with big productions and like all this crazy stuff. And literally just us in our home with the help of you guys, we raised $223,000 wow. for childhood cancer. You guys, that is going to save lives. You're going to help so many people. I cannot thank you enough. This is the best birthday present and Christmas present and life present I could ever ask for. It's going to help so many kids. It's going to help with research and with funding for all the research and all the different treatments these kids can get. Um, it's going to help with medical bills and home bills like lights and electricity and food and just everything that they need so these kids can beat this horrible disease. Thank you so freaking much i'm so grateful for you all um i'm going to be doing another fundraiser this week to raise money for childhood cancer for saint jude matt pat is doing a fundraiser um and i'm going to be a guest on that and they raise like majillions of dollars <laughs> there they have like a whole team of people doing this and that's an incredible cause as well so if you want to help raise money for saint jude's or just tune into that spread awareness for that that would be so wonderful and helpful if you guys could do that as well um so yeah, I just, I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful. And this is the best birthday present in the universe. You are incredible. Congrats to everyone who won prizes, but all of you won a prize because all of you are helping incredible kids uh, fight cancer. So I love you. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys very soon. I'm posting my vlog now. So go check that out. I love you and keep being awesome people. You proved today that the internet can be full of really awesome people and not just a bunch of trolls. You're incredible. Love you guys. Bye. Yay.